Sunday fun day in full effect. Ain't that right, Comatron? Oh yeah, here we go, folks. A Sunday fun day. I am back home, back in the office. Yeah, I didn't have as much time to prepare as usual, but more time than I have lately. Yo, what's up, Trap Shot Live? Checking in from the VIP lounge. SJ, S Janchow, Oram, checking in from the VIP lounge. Dennis Bush, 3D Code Warrior, Edvin Helen, Trap Shot Live, Dadler TL, Amiga Cami, Porthal, A1200.net. Amiga Dweeb, I cannot wait for your game. It looks so awesome. Thanks for being a VIP, baby. Love it. Smash 1980, Cal 64, Cole Kawe. Thanks, Cole Kawe. I appreciate that. Amiga Dad watching. Amiga Dweeb, thank you so much for the resub. Amiga Dweeb, not just a subscriber here on Twitch, also an Amigaville VIP and creator of the upcoming game Cyberpunks 2 Mutation Software. Mr. Wolverine DK, congrats on being Rona free. Rona free hugs all day today, baby. Let's go. D Dale 2, what's going on? D Mackey 828 kicking the door open to the VIP lounge. Protec. Smash 1980. We're gonna play some Neoclora Smash. JMA80, how's it going? Yo, back y'all. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Uh, Brother Bill with the resub. Thank you, Brother Bill. Thanks for all the support. Voxel Trots, how's it going, Voxel? Great to see you here. Great to see you in person, too. Palinurk with the resub. Palinurk, Brother Bill, Voxel. You all rule. Thanks for being VIPs. Gabora with the resub. Thank you so much, Gabora. Appreciate you so much, Gabora. Thank you, thank you. Corbo is here. Spinto 777777777777. How's it going, my man? Nivrig is here. Remotely interested checking in from down south. Hope, hope all is well. Quantic CD32. It's on like Donkey Sunday Fun Day Kong. You know it, Quantic. You know it. I love it. Smash 1980s ready. Yeah, thanks, Brother Bill. He's watching. He's watching. Yo, uh, Arteo, Indiana. What's going on? Amiga Fish. Who's signing up for the AGA? We'll find out. We'll find out. Pi Gravity, how's it going, Pi Gravity? Great to see you. C64 Television. Normally I would put your hat on right now, but I'm rocking the Amiga Dad hat today. But I got your sticker. I got your sticker on my 1200. Monster Joysticks in the chat. I cannot wait to unwrap my Monster Woody. <laughs> sometimes it's good to wrap it up, sometimes it's good to unwrap it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, baby, Nivrig. It's getting hot in here, too. When you got a Monster Woody and Cyberpunks 2 knocking on your door. <laughs> Bobby Zeal, what's going on, Bobby Zeal? Basco Bug, how's it going? Oh, uh, Indie Retro News. Thank you so much, Indie Retro News. Amiga Dad is like the Black Knight in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You can't, can't knock him down. Can't knock him down. C64 Television, another visitor. Stay a while, stay forever, baby. Thanks uh, for the shout out there. Basco Bug, Job Wolf, thank you. Amiga Mark, Bobby Zeal, remotely interested. Miss Indie Retro News, I hope all's well with your family as well. I hope all's well. Thank you, Mr. Wolverine EK. I do need to finish that video. I do need to finish that video. It's just a scratch. You know what? You know what else is? You know it's more than a scratch. My favorite demo from Revision. It's freaking amazing. Now I can't play the demo for my real 1200. I don't know why Neo Calora won't play on my 1200, but it don't matter. I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna have. You're gonna see my real 1200 there, but it's really, it's really a video recording that I did. So you know, sorry to sneak that in on y'all, but you know what? It's a good recording of Neo Calora. It's an amazing demo. I got to watch it a few times now because you know things were hectic on Easter Sunday when uh, super hectic for me on Easter Sunday when when revision was dropping. But I can sit back, you know, and take a breath and enjoy it now, folks. This is Neo Colora second place revision 2023. Let's go, baby. Amiga.
Neo Calora by Dark Age and Lemon. I that's my dude. I think that's my winner. I think that's my revision 2023 winner. I love it. Proton Fig, what's going on? Yo, Stream Stack TV. Thank you so much for the raid, Jake the Dog. You rule. Someone I think shouted you out. Someone shout out Stream Stack TV. Gabora with the resub. Thank you, Gabora. Appreciate that. Palinurk with the resub. Also an Amiga Bill VIP. Brother Bill with the resub. Thank you. Uh, Fack y'all, thank you for the follow. Amiga Dweeb with the resub, thank you so much. Someone named uh, Rocky No Pants followed me during the week. I freaking <laughs> Rocky No Pants, that's awesome, dude. Yo, what's up, a Martian? Great to see you. Thanks, Amiga Cami. Great to see you. Rick Deckard, 1976. Welcome to the stream. My, you know, I, I dress the part, Jake. You know, I like to be coordinated what what with what is happening on the screen on the Amiga you know what I'm saying um I yeah so I wish awkward aardvark I wish I could play that demo on my real Amiga for some reason I don't want to do it sorry my uh my, my level is low there on the Amiga I'm gonna start breakbeat science again too because that, that ain't fair breakbeat science Um, yeah, I don't know what's I don't know why. I don't know why um, it, I can't get it to play. I, it's, it loads up and it just freezes on the first frame. It's all good. Rick Deckard, Rick Deckard, welcome to the stream. What's up, Bosco Bug? Great to see you. If you're new, yo, Coffee Cup Arcade, how's it going? Thank you for shouting out Proton Fig. Awkward Aardvark, how's it going? If you're new to my streams, welcome. I'm Amiga Bill and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch. Every Sunday, we call it the Sunday Fun Day. I'd like to stream demos, I like to stream new Amiga games, old Amiga games. My favorite thing to do is have guests on my stream. There's so many cool things happening in the Amiga community, man. I like that people come on and talk about it. It's my favorite. Oh, uh, Judge uh, Drock, how's it going? Yo, Judge is uh, Judge is awesome. I love Judge's columns in uh, in the Zap Amiga. He writes about the demo scene in Zap Amiga. I haven't gotten I haven't gotten my latest issue yet, Judge, but I can't wait. I can't wait to get it. Start without start sequence and run set patch, then a demo. Yo, Chucky Gang, you're probably right. You're probably right, but I was just running the ADF. You know, I was running the ADF. I figured ADF was like set it and forget it, but maybe not. Maybe I need to edit the startup sequence on the ADF and do a set patch. That could be cool. That's a good idea, actually. What's up, Banjo Guy Ollie? Amiga Fish, how's it going? Is there a link for the top 10 Amiga demos from Revision 2023? We'll get it, Amiga Fish. Ooh, a Roadcraft Amiga 500 game music whip. Thanks, Proton Fig. I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, got it. Got it. Got it, Chucky Gang. Understood. Oh, really? I um, you only saw it as a download? Wait, wait, who wrote that? Uh, Awkward Aardvark? No, I got it as a, I got it as an ADF. Interesting. Interesting. Yo, what's up, KH Jaman? Delta Wave. What's going on, Delta Wave? Smash, yep, yeah, smash. I mean, it's not like a problem. It's not like my Amiga's too slow. It just kind of like freezes on the first, the first uh, frame for some reason. I'll, I'll figure it out. You know. I can't wait, Judge. You know, I can't, I can't wait. Oh, okay, Judge. Is it okay to share that? Is it okay? Oh, here we got the prodigy going now. I love it. I love it. So, folks, um, you know, it's been, it's been a, a crazy week. Um, so you know, I, I'm not. Not as prepared. I'm more prepared than I was last week, but not as prepared as usual. Um, so we're gonna do we'll do two giveaways from a1200.net today. I'm gonna stick with the small giveaways because you know what I was thinking. So Tech Girl reached out to me. She's like, you know what? I had this project I was gonna do with my Amiga 500, and I bought the Scourge the Underkind uh, case bundle for it. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that project anymore. So like, if I don't do that project. Maybe I will donate my Scourge the Kind bundle to your stream, and then you can raffle it off. But I don't want it just to be like a random raffle. Like I want some people to, uh, to like do something to win it. So I was like, I was like, Tech Girl, you know what, Tech Girl, that's a good idea. I'm like, maybe I've got two more big things to raffle off from a12.net. I've got a Scourge the Underkind demo that uh, uh, a Scourge the Underkind uh, bundle that uh, that they donated, which is huge, and I got the uh, the A500 Crystal case package to, to raffle off as well so I got two big raffles and I, I kind of want to do it right you know I want to do it right um, I didn't have time I want to do something cool I want to do something cool with it so I um I, I'm gonna table for today because I was just uh, I've been I, I don't know if you can tell but I'm exhausted <laughs> I might I might grab a red bull downstairs we'll see 
But I'm, I'm pretty tired. I want to do it right. I want to be in the, the right state of mind when I raffle those two big prizes off. You know what I'm saying? I want to be in the right state of mind. We're going to spin the vinyl, have the vinyl cam going. Amiga Dad's favorite, the vinyl cam. So I want to do it right. I want to do it right. Yo, what's up, Maya82? How's it going, Maya82? Ooh, Quantic just poured himself a Captain and Coke. Food's on the stove. Going to be great. I love it. D Mackie 828 Amiga Bell VIP gifted a, a sub to Amiga Fish. Thank you, D Mackie 828. What do you think, A1200.net? Like, what do you think? A demo combo? That'd be hilarious. Like, what could we do? I, yo, remotely, I'm check out my bling in the background. How do you, how do you like? Yo, I, I'm just testing it. I got DMX control from. That, that, that's actually a movie light back there, and I just set up my DMX controller for all my my lights. So I'll just like fool around with a movie light back there. Baltos, yo, 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 yo. What's going on, my man? Milo loves chocolate. It's great to see you here. It's great to be on and see you here. Thank you. Thanks, Smash 1980. I appreciate that. Oh, my 82. My 82. What's cooking? What's cooking, my 82? <laughs> I know it's vegan. <laughs> Maybe an intro compo? <laughs> that could be cool, 8400.net. Or maybe like a piece of artwork or something, you know? Something simple, because I, it, I mean, look how beautiful this is. I mean, I've got, I got one more piece to the equation here. This is my A500 Plus with the crystal case. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The last piece of the equation I want to do here is put my Raspberry Pi Zero in it. Uh, this way I can get the HDMI out, so I'll get the RGB to HDMI cooking. But I mean, this thing is this is in a good place right now. This A500 Plus is in a really really good place right now. I got the the two megabytes of chip RAM thanks to um, thanks to my main man um, C3PO. Yo, there's Seagull 1200. What's going on, Triace? What's up, Triace? Great to see you. Great to see you, Zemish. Zemish, thank you so much for the follow. Dude, oh, uh, SJ, S, uh, Jack now got his, uh, Scourge the Underkind soundtrack bundle last Friday and loves it. I love it. D Mackie, I can't wait. I can't wait to install the, uh, the RGB to HDMI. It's gonna, it's gonna be rad, but I love, I love this, um, you know, I love, I love this case. It's so good. I love it's 500 plus. I want to play, you know, I want to play like the Ghost Town demo and stuff. Here's the thing, like on Poet, the Ghost Town demos are like Disc Masher. So I was like, oh, come on. Disc Master is like a next step I gotta take to play it on my real Amiga, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, yo, Texas Foosballer checking in from the VIP lounge. What's going on, dude? Great to see you. Let me put this back over here. So, you know, I'm gonna, so so folks, the thing we're gonna do today, um, you all know, like, Monster Joysticks is, I mean, Texas Foosball reminded me. Monster Joysticks is an Amiga Bill VIP. You know, I love, I love my Monster Mini. <laughs> You know, I'm always playing with my Monster Mini. I love it. Genuine Sanwa arcade parts. But I'm not going to lie. When I was down in Texas and I met up with the Foosballer and the Pints and Amiga, the Foosballer bought his Monster Woody over. <laughs> okay. I've been a little jealous. I've been a little jealous of Foosballer's Monster Woody. You know what I'm saying? And Monster knows it. So Monster, Monster Joystick is like, I know how much you love Texas Foosballers Monster Woody. I tell you what, I got a new line of joysticks coming out, exclamation mark joystick in the chat, that you don't have to assemble. It, it comes assembled already. You see, in the old school, old school monster joysticks, it's kind of fun. You know, it comes with the plexiglass, and you screw the plexiglass together, put on put on the genuine Sanwa arcade parts, and oh baby. And you're styling. Apparently, apparently the new version of the monster joysticks. You know, there's minimal assembly required. So, and uh, and apparently there's a Woody as well, a custom stained Woody for me. <laughs> so today we're gonna unwrap my Woody. It's usually good to wrap it up, but sometimes it's good to unwrap the Woody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm, we're gonna unwrap this bad boy and uh, and see see what's going on. <laughs> oh man and I also so I also got something else that's really cool uh, Patrick Navayan really really nice guy he did uh, games like um, uh, um, the Golruth series the Golruth series Patrick did the Golruth series 
and he also did this amazing thing it's called the uh, it's called the Chris Halsbeck piano collection so Patrick is a really good piano player besides coder and game developer so he sent me the Chris Halsbeck piano collection so I can't wait we're gonna we're gonna listen to it and, and check it out it's really really cool yo what's up torque great to see you torque um, thanks for shouting out torque brother bill you rule did I miss anything um, irre uh, irre irrelativity is asking a question my a500 has an ad RAM board with four megabytes of RAM will these cases allow it I don't see why not the board goes under the 500 yeah it's you know I don't know that the ad RAM board specifically irre irrelativity um, but you know it's, it's basically the same exact case the case has the same exact dimensions as uh, as the original Amiga 500 so I can't see why I wouldn't go in the trap door you know I put stuff in the trap door and in my a1200 nut cases and it works just groovy yo what's up midnight bird great to see you Hazar Pati, thanks for doing exclamation mark, exclamation mark joystick there, shouting out monster joysticks. A1200.net is here though, so A1200.net could uh, could could uh, answer for you as well. But I, I would say I'd say like 99% sure yes. And you know, worst case scenario, you could just like not put the the cover on the bottom. Worst case scenario. Yo, what's up, Conjure? Thank you for the resub, Conjure. Greetings from Germany. Greetings to Germany from New York. Germany well represented on these streams. Alan San 09, no excuses. I'm <laughs> just kidding, buddy. Alan San, great to see you. Hope the chinchillas are, are doing well. What's up, Upshift? Okay, Monster Joysticks in the chat. Monster, when I say I'm going to do an unboxing, I mean I'm going to do an unboxing. And now I almost literally opened the box, but the box had a lot of private information on it. So I was like, instead of trying to X out the private information, I figured I would. Um, just I figured I would just do it, you know, open up the box and then uh, and then open up this package. Yes, H12.net says I am correct. Irrelativity, um, your your um, trap door uh, accelerate your RAM expansion will fit without a problem. What's up, Mac? Is a suggester. Monster, is there anything in here? Is everything in here safe? <laughs> um, Delta Wave says I forgot is. Pi Amiga, the best site to use to build one with. You want to use a, like a Raspberry Pi Amiga? I think Pi Amiga is awesome. And the thing I love about the Pi Amiga is, uh, you know, Chris did a great distro of it. It's awesome. But the cool thing, what I did with my Pi Amiga is, yes, it can boot into Chris's Pi Amiga setup, which is awesome. But it's it's really it's just a layer on top of Amiberry. So then you can just go into Amiberry and make your own configurations as well. I, I think it's really cool. That's like a feature of a Pi Amiga. A lot of people don't talk about. It makes like the Amiberry installation really easy. So for example, like with Sammy Halaby, I set up uh, a Raspberry Pi 400 for her. Boom, you can boot right into Pi Amiga, totally pimping. Or I set up an Amiberry configuration as an Amiga 1000, so she can also boot into an Amiga 1000 emulation scenario to emulate her real Amiga 1000 if she wants to. So it's just like, it, so Pi Amiga itself is great, but it's also great because you get Amiberry installed and then you can just customize it. You want your 500, you want your 1000, you want your 2000, boom, boom, boom. You can still do all that and just, you don't have to use the Pi Amiga. So I think it's really cool. Yo, the real Tony Rocks is here. Sin Lao is here. <laughs> That's our pate. That would be hilarious. But if, if a bunch of MDMA just this stream of this stream would go. Look, I got the right colors for MDMA back there, right? Right. <laughs> Yo, 3D Code Warrior, thanks for gifting a, a sub to Monster Joysticks. Monster Joysticks, subscribe in here on the Twitch, also in Amiga Bill VIP. Delta Wave is this the, is this you know what I I don't know that website there Delta Wave Delta Wave I um to be honest the way you download Pi Mega is Pi Mega is uh, you go to Chris Edwards YouTube channel and you he's got a Pi Mega video there and then the link is in the description that's how I did it D Mackey loves his Pi Mega A1200 love it the real Tony Rocks I'm hanging in there Tony Rocks I'm sorry I didn't get to see you you know last weekend yes remotely interested remotely interested Ami kit is a good way to go on the pie as well remotely interested I've got Ami kit on my PC but I don't I never I haven't tried Ami kit on the pie yet but I heard nothing but great things about it locust what's up locust Sunday fun day that's that's awesome remotely interested um what I would I prefer for road graphs an mp3 or a mod let's do a mod proton fig let's do a mod I I like to play it off my my real uh, my real Amiga Let's uh let's open up this let's open up let's unwrap the woody folks. 
<laughs> Overhead cam, where you at? Oh, look at that. I didn't I didn't set the time on VHS cam. Sorry about that, folks. Um, well, let's let's open. I, I can't wait. I I've been I this monster Woody has been in my trunk for like two weeks now. So I I want to unwrap this sucker. Um, let's see. Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my focus a little closer here. I know it's overexposed. I can close down. I can close down a tad here. It's just it's just the uh, the bubble wrap, you know, reflecting the light. So all right, here we go, folks. We are gonna unwrap a brand new toy that I just got. It's a new joystick from MonsterJoysticks.com. Then we're gonna play some new Amiga games too. A, a great game called Box Four came out at Revision. We're gonna play Box Four. There's a new like puzzle roguelike game that came out. We're gonna play that today too. We're gonna play some demos from Revision. It's gonna be it's gonna be a really really fun stream. I'm probably gonna drink a beer and a Red Bull, something like that, you know. All right, boom, we're cutting, we're cutting here, we're cutting. I you know I cut my finger on these scissors not too long ago and it just healed, so I'm gonna be careful not to not to cut my fingers again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, awkward aardvarks. The A1200 didn't fix itself. I mean, it was it was basically a bad connection from the RGB port to my scaler. That's what it was. There's the link. D Mac, you uh, dropped the link to Pi Mega 3. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can feel the wood, baby. Oh, oh, something just fell out. Something man down. Something just fell out of the woody. That's our pate. Oh, I care. See, I'm overexposed, man. I'm clipping there. See, boom. We're clipping, clipping. No, all right. Dial it back, dial it back. Um. Oh, 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 baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. I am feeling the wood. I am feel. It's got a nice texture. Let's let's see it. Oh, lordy. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I call a beautiful Woody. <laughs> Texas foosballer, Texas foosballer. Now you and I both have nice woodies. Oh man, this is awesome! From MonsterJoysticks.com, it comes pre-assembled. All we gotta do is put the ball top on. We got a little sack there. I'm not sure if it's in the sack. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, yo, this sick. This thing is solid too. Holy cow, this thing—it's solid. The stick is tight. Look at these, dude. Look at these copper buttons. Oh man, they're so awesome. Boom. Yeah, so what's what fell down? Uh Okay, I got I got a new cable. The cable the cable is what fell down. I can still use the old cable, we'll see. Um me, no, Milo, I'm right-handed with the stick. So he built it, he built it for me custom for, so I could do the stick with the right hand. I'm right-handed with the stick, so it's perfect. Alright, we're gonna all right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited about this Woody. I can't control myself. Palinurk, you like my Woody? Palinurk, I mean, it's a it's a nice looking Woody. I'm not, it's a strong Woody. <laughs> yeah, Jowl. There was a little ball sack attached to it, Jowl. <laughs> you got you. You know what? Laughter. Laughter is the best medicine, folks. You know. So I. You know. You gotta laugh a little bit and have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Boom. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna check out the Monster Joysticks website too, you know, so that, to see where where all of you can get your get, get yourself a Monster Woody as well. We'll unwrap unwrap the ball, and uh, and we got a little cover there. Oh no, yo, the real Tony Rock says his son James got his Amiga 1000 keyboard and the Amiga 1000 up and running. That is awesome. Congrats, James. Excellent job. Excellent job. Boom. Monster Joysticks has the stick on the wrong side. No, no. Monster Joysticks put the stick on the right side. You know why it's the right side? Because it's the side that I like it. That's the side I wanted. Um, yeah, see, Monster Joysticks says you can have the stick on whatever side you want. I'm right-handed. I like my stick on the right side of the wood. You know, Monster Joysticks custom made it. Ooh, okay, we got two covers here. We got two. We got two covers here on Monster Joysticks. Let me, let me change my focus here. Throw it down there a little bit. Boom. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yo, F Santrum with the resub. Thank you so much, F Santrum. I really, really appreciate that. Oh, and uh, Daryl, Daryl, Jaman. Thank you so much for the resub. Showing, hold on, Daryl. I'm sorry. I'm. Oh, it's just. Uh, it was quick. Daryl says, showing my support, Amiga Bill, and all things Amiga, but can't stay on so long. I'll watch the recorded stream later. Oh, no worries, Daryl. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the sub. I really, really appreciate that. And Zemish, Zemish, thank you so much for the resub. Boom. Yo, Charlie Farr. Good to see you here, Charlie Farr. How's it going? 
F Sandstrom's there. Boom. Oh, let me see. Boom. Yo, it, it's so good. Coffee Cup Arcade. <laughs> Coffee Cup Arcade. It is a nice woody. I know you love the monster joysticks. Thanks, Proton Fig. We'll play them in a minute. Uh, did I miss anything? All right. So I'm guessing I just put one of these suckers on, right? Monster. Uh, all I need is one cover, right? Two. Two. I think two's going to get confusing. I will call this one a spare. I'll call this one a spare. Boom. And now let's put the ball on. Oh, yeah. Look at, uh, this is a, you know, and of course you can also, uh, you know, tell monster joysticks what color you want for the ball and for the, um, the buttons. He was like, you want black and red, right? I'm like, I got everything black and red, man. I want to, I want something a little bling, bling, bling. So he's like, oh yeah, we'll get you the copper. Woo! I mean, cause the copper and the wood just go so well together. Oh, oh, oh coffee cup. I'll take a look. Is it? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's so good. And look, we got, um, we got, yo, monster joysticks. I see a switch back here. My other monster joysticks don't have such a switch. Uh, what is that switch? Is that like, um, is that a second button type of switch? Oh, look, I see something here too. Uh, looks like this, this plastic is covered. We can peel this off. Let's peel this off. Yep. Yep. We're going to gently peel this off. You know, we want our, we want our Woody to look as, as beautiful as possible. You know, nice. Now here's another upgrade. Another upgrade on my original monster joystick. It was a little bit hard to peel off the protective plastic. This plastic has got a tab on it. It's got two tabs to be precise. So it's super easy, super easy. Oh man, this is a beautiful stick. What can I, <laughs> this, this is a beautiful, beautiful joystick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo monster. Thank you so much. Like, I'm so lucky. Here's the thing too. You know what I always say about monster joysticks? Like give them a look because monster joysticks, not only are the joysticks awesome, but monster joysticks is like a huge supporter of the retro community, like massive supporter of the retro community. I know he supports, you know, RMC retro and tons of other streamers and YouTubers as well. He's just like, he's just an awesome, awesome person. And you know, huge supporter of the retro community. I mean, look, I mean, he sent me his joystick for free and he's a amiga build VIP. I can never re repay him for his generosity. Uh, so, I mean, when you buy a monster joystick, you're not just getting a great joystick. You're also like supporting an amazing person in the retro community who also supports other people in the retro community. So monster is just absolutely rad. I freaking, I freaking love, I love that guy. Thank you so much, monster. Oh wait, I'm paused here. It maps the second button to up. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, you're, you, Charlie Farr, you like the, the stick on the left, the arcade sticks. Um, yeah, dude, I mean, that's, that's more, more sticks in the arcade are on the left for sure. But they did that because more people are right-handed and they want people to, to lose as much as possible. So you spend more quarters. I'm righty. I like the stick. I like it righty. So that's just awesome. You can, you know, monster joys, this will make it any way you like. Yo, Manticore. What's going on, Manticore? You want, you want a little ASMR? There you go, Manticore. There you go. Um, yeah, so uh, remotely interested. I know he does a CD32 variant as well with more buttons on it for sure. Boom, boom. Oh, oh, oh let's put this. Dude, I just want to play. I want to play now. What should I play with it? What do you guys think? I wasn't playing on this. I, I do. Want, I want to play Patrick's music, and we'll play. Uh, we'll play Proton Fig's music as well. I just feel like I just want to jump into a game. Would you, I just jump right in? You know what I mean? Wiz and Liz. Or do I, I, or do I, do I do a little, a little Amiga News and then we play some box? What do you guys want? Do you guys want to see box or a classic? I don't know. I don't know what to play. Oh wait. I mean, the first thing I play on Monster Joystick should be one of my all-time favorite games, right? Maybe the first thing I play with my new Monster Woody should be one of my all-time favorite games. All right. Let me think. Hold on. What should I play? You know I love Pac-Man, the real Tony Rocks. You know I do. Oh man, it's a beauty. I would, you know, I need to make a, a, a witty cam. Turbo Tomato, that's a good one, Amiga Dweeb. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's go over here. Let me find a game. Yo, Quahas with the resub. 38 months of subs. Quahas, you animal. I love it. Charlie Farr's asking if he's got a 4 8 way switchable gate. Charlie Farr, I don't know. I think it depends on which actual joystick you have. Let's see. Um, 
Quas, thank you for the resub. What should I play? Um, let me just let me just let me just open up my games folder here. You know, I don't keep all my games uh, on my Amiga at all times. Let's just see what hits me. Let's see what hits me here. Turbo Tomato. But here's the thing. I don't know if I have Turbo Tomato on the hard drive, right? Let's see. If, yeah, I'll play Turbo Tomato. LMNOP. Do I do I have it on the hard drive? I'm not sure. Did, see, this is all like um. Let me. I'll, I'll tell you what, folks. I'll get. I'll get Turbo Tomato. You know why Turbo Tomato? Turbo Tomato, dude, is one of the the best selling bitmap soft game of all time, created by Niv Rig. I'm gonna play Turbo Tomato. Let me. Um, Banshee would be a good one too. I'll play some Turbo Tomato. I just need to get it. All right. I just need. Yo, know, Niv Rig, can you can you do me a favor, Niv Rig? Can you just fire me? Can you just fire me a copy if you're nearby? If not. I'll get it. It's a. I got it on my my PC hard drive. Hold on. I'm gonna let me go back to the music really quick. Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Yo, terrible fire. How's it going, terrible fire? Great to see you. We'll go to the hippo player. We'll do this. Boom. We'll add. You know, I'll go back to the drum and bass for a second, and then uh, and I'm gonna grab Turbo Tomato. Uh, where were we? We're Champion Sound or Chip Jungle, something like that. And I'll do Amiga News next. Bye, Omega. How's it going? Oh, you've got an Amiga plugged into a BVM reference monitor. Let's go. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hold on. Am I going to go visit? Am I going to go to an Amiga event this year? Qualys is asking. Qualys, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the, what the uh, you know, what uh, the future brings. I've been very jealous of Texas Foosballers, Monster Woody, Mr. Wolverine DK. I've been very jealous, but you know, he fixed that. Cloaked Alien, what's up? All right, hold on, let me put this. Dude, it is substantial. It's so, it feels so good in my hand. <laughs> oh man, Coffee Cup Arcade. What's going on, Coffee Cup? All right, let me just, let me grab Turbo Tomato, hold on. Let me grab, let me grab it. Oh my God, look at all the stuff. What's going on over here? What's going on there? Let's close that. Boom, okay. Boom, I'm going to close that. Let me go find Turbo Tomato here. Uh, go to uh, Amiga folder. Boom. D J D T A P R. What is going on? Coffee Cup Arcade is, is the eight-way uh, octagonal configuration. I like it. We'll go to Amiga. Uh, Amiga Games. I probably have it in here somewhere. And, 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 Turbo Tomato, and it's an ADF. Turbo Tomato ADF, we're gonna copy it, boom, and we're gonna put it right onto my SD card here. Just for the record, Turbo Tomato is also my nephew slash godson's favorite game of all time. Not just favorite Amiga game, but one of his favorite games of all time. And he's coming back this summer, so we're going to be doing some hardcore Turbo Tomatoing. Uh, let me just change this file name. It's got a lot of numbers in front of it. I want, I want it to be T. I want Turbo Tomato with the T. Okay, we're, now we're going to eject the SD card. And, uh, and now we're going to play some Turbo Tomato by Nivrig. With my brand new Monster Woody. I, I found it. Um, Nivrig, I found it. Thank you, Nivrig. I appreciate that. Yo, what's up, PT Weekender? I imagine I imagine you're friends with, uh, with Ravi and DJ Hoffman. I love the PT Weekends. I can play a mod with hard panning, Proton Fig. I'm streaming in mono, so it's all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reboot here, folks. Or, or I can, or I can not stream in mono if you want. I can stream in stereo. I can do the V. I, I you know, I can do whatever you want. Oh, Coffee Cup Arcade. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Coffee Cup's DM. Would you? Say? <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, did you send me a Woody pick? <laughs> I hear that's what the kids do these days. I can't say I've ever sent one myself, nor will I ever, but maybe I'll send my first Woody pick, you know, take a picture of this beauty. Uh, let's see. Oh, Coffee Cup Arcade sent a, a video. Oh, wow. 
Am I allowed to play it? Yeah, the cable's uh, hardly working. The, the cable is provided. It is. Thanks, Acid Bottle. Appreciate that. I I'm trying. You know, I got. I need a. Um, I need a diversion. Yeah, I need a diversion. Yeah, it came with this cable. It's got a, a female DB9 on one end to plug into the back of the Amiga, and it's got a male DB9 on the other end to plug into the Monster Joystick. Uh, so wait, let's see, let's see what we got here. Hold on. Uh, Coffee Cup Arcade just sent me something here. Hold on, let's see what we did. Desktop. Boom. Let's see what Coffee Cup sent. Let's see what you got for us, Coffee Cup. Boom. Okay, we're, we're unmuted, and let's rewind it. Nice moves, Coffee Cup Arcade. I dig it. Uh, you had the Z X Spectrum Edition. I got the Monster Woody Edition. Ooh, what you know? I, I judge. Is it cool? Um, I judge also sent me some cool, some cool uh, screen grabs from the latest issue of Zap Amiga. That's rad. I can show that in a minute. Boom, coming soon. The full video, Coffee Cup Arcade. I dig. I dig. I dig the Z. I like how Monster Joysticks put the Z underneath the plastic. I like it. Yo, what's up, Sarah? Sarah's here. What's up, Sarah? Great to see you. Um, what? Jiro's here. What's up, Jiro? Great to see you, Jiro. Great to see you, Sarah. Sarah, I hope I hope your games are coming out awesome. I'm sure they are. I love your games. The Monster Joystick will also work with Commodore 64, so you can rock out on some uh, Sarah Jane Avery games, which are amazing. Um. Yo, what's up, Pixels at Dawn Gaming? Great to see you. I know, um, Roll Krug, a new car smell will never compare to a new computer smell. How about... How does a new Woody smell? I don't, I don't even know. What's... <laughs> oh, yeah. The new Woody smells good, let me tell you. Woo! Coffee Cup Arcade also has some nice nails, by the way. Oh, it sounds good, Proton Pig. What's up, Hulk Krug? What's up, Picard 2010? You made a trailer for Zeta Wing 2? Sarah, uh, send me a link. Send me a link. We'll, we'll check it out. Ah, oh, smells good. All right, let's play some Turbo Tomato. Here we go. The problem is, I, I, this, I gotta put this Monster Woody on my lap because... Boom. Oh, you sold the house in Puerto Rico. Maybe I'll pick up some more Amiga gear with your cut. Nice, DJ DTA. Nothing better than a new a new Woody smell, right? Here we go. Awesome, Sarah. I'll check out. I definitely I want to check out the trailer to your game as soon as I'm done putting my monster Woody through its uh, initial initial test. All right, boom. Let's go. Let's go. No better way to test out my brand new Monster Woody than with a little Turbo Tomato Tomato. 
an idyllic the garden is an idyllic haven where the fruits and vegetables live their lives in peace and happiness but no more a darkness spreads in the sod turning friends into monsters and the very earth itself explosive our heroes seem unaffected so far but must flee their home can they escape can they survive of course they can yo amiga live what's up amiga live Amiga Live, I just got myself, you know, Amiga Live hangs out with Monster Joysticks in the, in the VIP club. Amiga Live, I just got myself a brand new Monster Witty. The joystick came pre-assembled, and uh, it feels strong. It feels really strong, and it smells good, too. <laughs> Folks, go to AmigaLive.com. You can play online multiplayer Amiga games. You can play solo. You can play with friends from around the world, and you can even stream them to the Amiga Live Twitch channel while you're playing them. It's amazing. I freaking love AmigaLive.com. Sarah, I'm definitely gonna check that out. I'm definitely gonna check out your uh, your trailer as soon as uh, I'm done playing with it. Uh, oh, it feels good. The Woody is tight. Whoa. Boom. Oh, wait. oh yeah, dude. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock this game with the monster baby. Woo. Sarah, we gotta play some Zeta Wing with the Monster Woody too. Oh, oh man. Test it out with a C64, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some Briley Witch. Oh, I got I got a little. You know, I gotta take Jake the dog. You know, I gotta play like Jake the dog. Jake's the, do the dog is like pretend it's like tag. You know? That's the secret. That's the secret to the, the turbo tomato tomato. Pretend it's tag. Yo, what's up, Swedish house? Great to see you. What's up, Silk74? Great to see you. Texas Foosballer, what's going on, my man? Texas Foosballer, don't be jealous of my Monster Woody. Now we can just be, have Monster Woodies together. You know what I'm saying? Even better. Jake the Dog says the secret source, so, uh, sauce. Zeta Wing 2 looks amazing. This is never a, I can't wait. Yo, what's up, Marks? Great to see you. Oh! Marks, okay, Marks, can you hang around for a minute? I want to show everyone Marks's magazine. Marks makes a, an Amiga magazine in Polish, and it's really, really good. It's really good. I'll have a Zhivyets with you when we do it. I'm gonna, I'm just testing out the Woody. The Woody feels great. Um, I, I, this is now like my favorite joystick in the universe. Fits perfectly on my lap. <laughs> and <laughs> oh man and i'm gonna grab myself a jibbit so we'll check out mark so i got i got a lot of stuff to do we gotta check out mark's magazine we gotta check out sarah's new game i'll do that next yo what's up craggle 88 great to see you sarah's still playing on creating some of me games oh sarah i can't wait a good shooter would be cool sarah well i mean make whatever you whatever you want you know in Turbo tomato they fight back that's the hard part yeah jake i exactly so you gotta be careful when you get close to him because you're in range too right Love the Swedish House Mafia. All right, here we go. So we got now Cool Cucumber. Lanky Green Freaks prefer to stay chilled. Look out for those lanky green freaks. <laughs> we got Tangerina. Small, but with a tough skin. More dangerous than they look. Yeah, those Tangerina. I mean, you know what? I Sometimes it's tough to open up a Tangerine, and you get, you get the, the acid under your nail, and it just starts to burn. Oh, there's the Cucumber. I missed them. Uh, the cucumber just totally freaking got me. Stay away from that bomb. Boom. We got this one. Freeze. I need a bomb. You know what? You know what's good so far? No grunch. Remember that jerk from Christmas time? Freaking grunch. Remember that punk <laughs> straw baddie? Get out of town, straw baddie. Get out of town. Oh, you want to see the bottom of the monster? Yo, um, Morgan Star S W E. More. Oh, sorry. More. More Nar. More Nar S W E. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, Anna Mortal. What's going on? Great to see you. Um, if you're just joining the stream, uh, I'm Amiga Bell. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. The best part of my streams, though, are coming here and hanging out with all the amazing people in chat. We got we got Nivrig in the chat who made this game. We got Monster Joysticks in the chat who now have pre-assembled Monster Joysticks with genuine Sanwa arcade parts. Uh, this is the Monster Woody. Oh man, it's, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. It feels so good. Look at this baby. Woo, look at this baby. 
I love it. I love it. So yeah, we have and we got Sarah Jane Avery in the chat. She makes amazing Commodore 64 games. Amiga games coming soon. We got demo seniors in the chat. We got all kinds of awesome people in the chat. Yo, what's up, Relo? Woody became a monster, Relo. You know it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. Giro, that's the problem. I am losing life. I'm too close to the enemies. Boom. Animortal's currently upgrading to OS 3.2.2. Nice, Animortal. Congrats, dude. Oh, Generic Geek says, hello, everyone. This stream always makes me smile. Yo, Generic Geek, that is the best thing in the world. That's like the best thing for me to hear. I freaking, freaking love it. The music is very Benny Hill. You're right, Proton Fig. I need to change my name to Amiga Boom. That's that's good. I like it. Jake the Dog says, when people say, if you could acquire one skill for free, what would it be? I didn't instantly take Nivrig's understanding of Amiga. These games breathe Amiga. Yo, that's a nice compliment to Nivrig right there, and I agree with you, Jake the Dog. Nivrig's games have soul, just like the Amiga. You know what I'm saying? Um, Odin Wutan. Odin Wotan. Thank you so much for the follow, Odin. It's great to have you here. I have a Tony Scener in the chat, and I, dude, I got, I got, I got, dude, I got the sexiest man in Pittsburgh in the chat too. I mean, come on. <laughs> Hurl Krug plays with his monster Woody all day. I love it, Hurl. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? What, it couldn't be a better day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Pixels at Dawn Gaming from Amiga Act Magazine. Thank you for gifting a sub to the awesome Sarah Jane Avery. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pixels at Dawn. I can't wait. Yo, Pixels, I can't wait to get my, my new issue of Amiga Act Magazine. One day I'm going to finish that, that Bifrost video too. In the meantime, you can read about it in Amiga Act Magazine. This is the Bifrost right here. Oh, baby. I love my Bifrost. Love my, I got two Bifrost. I got a Bifrost, I got a Bifrost D to A converter, and I got a Bifrost LED replacement for my Amiga. Boom. All right, we got uh, Tomatia Ice. Stay frosty under pressure. Has developed a bad rap. Karatoka. <laughs> Robust with an explosive temper. Beware when they blow their top. All right, we don't want to be near the, the Karatoko when when, uh, when they explode. Asphalt says Amiga rules are all right. agreed. Boom. Oh man, you know I, I do I did forget that these guys fight back. It's I'm so used to um, Santa you know rocks and Turbo Santa you know. I'm I'm not playing well, Jiro. There we go. Missed it. Little rascal. Get that watermelon. I like watermelon. Oh wait. Can I can I kill him? I can kill him. That's the that's the carrot, the little carrot rascal. Where'd he go? He's fast. He's fast. Amiga rules it all. Oh wait, so um Wotan is another spelling of Odin from Norse mythology. I love Mr. Wolverine DK, I love Norse mythology. You know, I got two freaking Bifrosts here. You know, I got the Bifrost LED replacement. I got the Bifrost uh, D to A converter for my uh, for my for my digital files, and I got a Valhalla headphone amplifier right here. You can't see it. Oh, do you want to see it? I can show you that. Uh, you didn't you didn't play this, but you played Turbo Santa a lot. For some reason, I can't see my high score anymore. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Amiga rules at all rocks. Cool. All right, folks. I'll tell you what. I'm loving the monster joystick. I'm loving my new Monster Woody. We're going to play two new Amiga games today. We're going to play Box 4. And there's another one. Uh, what's it called? Boom. It's called uh, Tenebra. Tenebra looks really cool. We'll play some Tenebra. We're going to do Amiga News. And then, you know, we're going to keep the stream going, baby. Uh, thank you all for hanging out today. Shout out to Amiga Dad who's watching. Amiga rules it all. Exactly. Exactly. Um, well, yeah, let's look at Proton Fig. Oh, Proton Fig wants to see the bottom. There's the bottom of the Woody. It's still got the uh, the plexiglass protective layer on it. I might keep it on there. You know, I like. I think protecting the bottom is good. Amiga News with Amiga Bill, Demo Scene TV. You know it. We're gonna play some demos today too. I mean, I, I didn't I really have time to enjoy all the uh, the demos from Revision, so we may, maybe we'll play a couple. You know, the one that won. Um, the one, the demo that won. I want to play because you know Blood Sugar Rises. It's really it's a really funny demo, but it's like an oma. It's like a, a spoof of an older demo. So I would love to see the older demo first and then play some Blood Sugar Rises. You know, Trice there. See Trice. Trice is, did the music to Box Four. We're gonna play that very very and very very soon. I, yo, demo scene TV. I, this might have been one of the best revisions uh, of all time. All right, the Monster Woody is safe down there. Um, there. See that. Boom. 
Look at that. Amiga Dad in the chat. It says, hi from Amiga Dad and Amiga Mom. Awesome joystick. Amiga Dad, thanks to Amiga Community for your get well wishes. There you go. Amiga Dad, I'll tell you, I'm telling you, Amiga Mom and Amiga Dad. Watching every stream. Every minute of every stream. Mr. Wolverine DK said there's also a Danish comic named Valhalla, but it's uh, that's about the Norse gods, and there's uh, even an old Danish and beautiful anime movie named Valhalla, which is the start of the comic I mentioned earlier. And guess what, Mr. Wolverine DK? Guess where Amiga Mom and Amiga Dad live, and uh, where I'm from? Valhalla. I'm not joking. <laughs> Check Amiga Dad's driver's license. I'm not even joking. Uh, oh, Hazar Pate, that's very kind of you to say that. Panzer Lord, boom. All right, let's, let's check out the video from Sarah. I want to see what Sarah's up to. I want to check out the, the trailer for Sarah's uh, new game. I, I'm a huge fan of Zeta Wing. Love, I love Zeta Wing. And um, she's making Zeta Wing too. I want to check it out. Here's the problem. Sarah, if you're there, can you drop the link again? Because uh, where is it? Maybe I can find it. I'm scrolling back, Sarah. Can I, can I find Sarah's link in the chat? There it is. I found it. All right, I'm good. I found it. Let's go over here to desktop. Boom. We're going to open up Sarah's video. Check it out. It looks awesome, Sarah. Yo, Sarah, this is my kind of game. I, I, it looks awesome. What's up, Kaz1973? Welcome. Demo Scene TV, the only reason why I could play Leisure Suit Larry is thanks to Amiga Dad's knowledge. Of all things adult. Yeah, Quantic, this is a com this, this is insane for a Commodore 64 game. Absolutely insane. I look at those all those layers, like all that like parallax, it's crazy. I, this, it is pretty amazing. Oh man, this is insane. This is mental. This is like the best looking Commodore 64 game of all time. It's crazy. Yo, Sarah, thank you for thank you for dropping. Whoa, thank you for dropping that into uh, into the chat, Sarah. Good luck, Sarah. Drop a link to like where we can buy it, cause I, dude, I want I want it now. I want it now, Sarah. It looks so good. The music is crazy too, Jake. You're right. Thanks for shouting out, Sarah. On Twitch, boom, Sarah. Yeah, if you drop a link to like where we can buy your games, that, I mean, I, I want, I, I want, I want some Zeta Wing too. I got Zeta Wing One. I love it. It's a great video, Sarah. It looks amazing. No, I know it's not out yet, but like, where can we, where will we be able to, to buy it? Thanks for clarifying. But I, I know it's not out yet. It's a. Uh, it looks incredible. It, it looks so good. Thank you, Coffee Cup. Oh, it's uh, Sarah Jane uh, Avery at itch. Dot IO. There we go. Boom. I love it. Briley Witch Chronicles, Snow Force. There's Zeta Wing. Zeta Wing is, is my favorite so far. I love it. Oh, Neutron's a good one too. They're all good. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm following her. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for dropping the link to Sarah's work in the chat. Appreciate that. Yo, what's up, Chris? Great to see you. Absolutely awesome to see you, Chris. Pixels at Dawn Gaming from Amiga Act Magazine says, Absolute best wishes to Amiga Dad. He's a legend. Always enjoyed his co-hosted stream. Pixels at Dawn, we'll be doing it this we'll be doing it this Father's Day too, baby. No problem, Jake. Thanks for the raid. Can you shout out Streamstack TV? Jake the Dog streams over there on Streamstack TV. Jake is a huge patron of mine, awesome supporter, uh, great friend, Jake. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, good, good. Follow Sarah on itch for sure, Hazar Pate. Thank you, Brother Bill. Appreciate it. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let me turn on some music and we'll do some Amiga news. Uh, boom. Okay, I'm gonna reboot the Amiga here. Let me reboot. Later, Jake. Jake, yo, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna do some Amiga news, and uh, I'm rebooting, and I'm gonna go here.
just get the uh, the Amiga news section ready to go. I don't really, I you know, normally I got the the news like, kind of like, all laid out. I don't have it all laid out, so I'm just you know what you can do. You can go to like Indie Retro News um, slash Amiga. It's Indie Retro News. Search label Amiga, and boom. I see some I see some new some new news stories. So we'll do some Indie Retro News, and I got some other news outside of Indie Retro News too. So it'll be cool. Ooh, Sarah, you were thinking of converting Zeta Wing to Amiga? That would be amazing, Sarah. Oh, my God. That would be absolutely amazing. No problem, Chris. You were inspired to try out Amiga Live after uh, watching my Twitch stream last weekend. It's a treasure. I love it. Thanks for sharing. Chris, though, Amiga Live is an absolute treasure. Not only is Amiga Live like a great service, but he's also a top-notch dude. Top-notch dude. Um, okay, I think, I think I'm all caught up here. There's Oram, 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 dude. You know, unfortunately, I didn't uh, didn't get to hang out at um, I didn't get to hang out at uh, VCF East this year, but I did get a few hours there, and I got to you know, we, we, me and Oram cruised down New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway together, had a nice chat. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's see. Boom. Uh, let me just get my music handy here. Boom. Amiga Bell. Boom. Man, I think I might go hit a Red Bull. I'm going to go to my hippo player. Hippo. And we'll get some drum and bass. I'm, I'm just feeling, you know, you got the, the D and B. Love it. Let's scroll down here. I'm just going to pick one. Drift sounds cool. All right. Let's do some Amiga news, folks. Some cool stuff going on uh, this week. Some really, really cool stuff. Let's do some Amiga news. Amiga news. With Amiga Bell. Head over to Indie Retro News. This looks awesome. The PC DOS game Death Rally is being ported to Amiga by Bazilli. You know, I love these these like DOS to Amiga ports. I love um, Full Throttle. Oh man, that's that's a good one. I love me some Full Throttle. I love. Um, they did uh, what, Exhumed, Power Slave. That's a really, really good one, too. And now we got Death Rally. Basili has been mentioned a couple of times on Indie Retro News. Not only did he release the Amiga port of Blakestone Aliens of Gold, but he also made available Exhumed, Power Slave, Wolfenstein 3D, Blood, and even my personal favorite, Shadow Warrior. Here's another Basili update. He's now made available for testing the PC2 Amiga port of Death Rally, a top-down racing game originally developed by Remedy, a game in which you have to race for the finish line, leaving a trail of burnt rubber and spent brass behind you. Basili says most people probably know Remedy for Max Payne, Alan Wake, or Control, but before those games, they made a nice top-down 3D racer called Death Rally. There's mixed information regarding the minimum requirements depending on the release, ranging from a 486 with 8 megabytes of RAM to a Pentium 90 with 16 megabytes of RAM. Either way, this puts the requirements to a port somewhere between a 68040 and a 68060 with an FPU. The game makes extensive use of it. The Amiga port is based on D Rally, which was reverse engineered from the original DOS executable. Once finished, I'll publish the changes in my fork. But it's in a good enough state for some public testing. So I haven't had time to test it myself yet, so uh, let's check out the video, folks. Yo, what's up, Picard2010? Great to see you. You all love Death Rally? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, man. I would never forget that sound for the Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, he's got a little pimped Amiga here with some R RTG graphics, it looks like. But I think it's AGA or RTG. You can... Oh, here we go. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, baby. I am Super Tech Boy, Amiga Dad and Amiga Mom watching the stream. I love that. What's up, Sandar? The company is 10 minutes away from you, Picard. Nice. This little 3D opening sequence is rad. I dig it. Totally sucks me right into the game. This is awesome.
Yo, Zendar, I don't know if I'm gonna be a kickstart in the UK. I'm not sure. I gotta see what the future brings. I would love to. I gotta love to. We'll see. Yeah, coffee cup, you're right. That is a proper amigo opening. And coffee cup, so those are your wife's nails. Well, hey, tell your wife she's got great nails. I thought they were yours, coffee cup. I don't know. Yo, BCF Midwest is not out of the question, Super Tech Boy. Chris Doe, it's not running on this Amiga, but this is, yes, but this demo is running on an Amiga. It, you can do an Amiga with AGA or an Amiga with RTG, it says. Speed makes me dizzy. Oh, Chris Doe, I'll, I'll put the link in the chat in a second. Yo, Tony Rocks, I, I mean, I feel like you're kind of close to VCF Midwest. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up, Carlos Jackal? Happy Sunday to you. This looks so good. I bet you this will be on the next Pi Mega, Pi Mega 4. Chris puts all the silliest games, you know, on Pi Mega. Get ready to go. Yeah, get ready to go. Let's go. I love that guy. Oh, oh, wow. Dude, look at that frame rate. Look at that frame rate. Proton Fig says this game wouldn't exist without reward from finished gold. RIP reward. Oh man, Proton Fig, I'm sorry. A big shout out to Reward from Finish Gold. Proton is also from Finish Gold. That's the fig. Reward fig. Yeah, yo, this this is super smooth. This is super smooth. You remember playing Death Rally 26, 27 Whoa, years ago, Mr. Wolverine DK? It's I never played this one. I dig it. This is, I, oh man, I gotta, I gotta download it. Because the, the thing with Bazilli's games is um, most of the games are still commercial, so you have to buy them on Steam, which is no problem, and then use his like Amiga shenanigans and import the assets from the commercial release. The PC version is on Steam. I think you have to download the PC version, Picard, and then, and, and then the Amiga version uses the assets. It's way it looked like to me, but I'm not sure. Protect, I would imagine this is the uh, RTG version. That's what I would guess. Protect, but I'm not sure. Coffee Cup, do you think the Mr. will run this one though? I guess if he's somewhere, he said somewhere between an 040 and 060 you need. Oh, wow. Reward did this, Max Payne, Alan Wake, and much more. Wow, that's amazing, Proton Fig. KL64 looks so good, right? Maybe try and run it on an 020. I don't think you'll get that frame rate. Okay, there we go. Boom. Sweet. Sweet. All right, so there you go. Let me drop a link into the chat. Boom. You can go over here. Copy. Copy. Paste. Yeah, Pi Mega 3 is what I'll be rocking. Boom. And yo, Chris, there's the direct link, thanks. And that's the link to the Indie Retro News article. Rad. All right. What else we got going on here? Okay, so we're going to play this game. We're going to play this one. Tenebra, an atmospheric 8-bit game by Haplo, arrives on the Commodore Amiga. The previously released Amstrad C64 Plus 4 and Z X Spectrum game of Tenebra by Haplo is now available for the Commodore Amiga. For those of you who haven't heard of this game before, that would be me. Tenebra is an atmospheric puzzle game with roguelike elements. Yeah, <laughs> keep pants on, Zendar. <laughs> with roguelike elements that ended up getting a sequel for the C64 called Tenebra 2. To coincide with this news, not only has Saberman done a video of Tenebra, but you can uh, purchase it for the Amiga via the itch.io link below. Yo, Shooklin TV, thank you so much for the follow, Shooklin. Welcome to the stream. We're doing some Amiga news right now. Some really cool games coming out for the Amiga this week. We got Tenebra, which I'm going to play in a little while. I got Tenebra loaded up and ready to go. Boom. Well, check out Saberman's video real quick. Yo, Monster Joy6, thanks so much for hanging out. Monster, thank you so much for hanging out, Monster. And I am going to enjoy my Woody for days and weeks and years on end. 
thank you so much for your generous uh, gift. Everyone, exclamation mark joystick in the chat. You can go get your own monster witty. Oh, you know what I'll do next is we'll go check out the monster joysticks website. So many Amiga rogues these days. Amiga's going rogue, I know. But it looks cool. It looks really cool. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game in a little while. It looks rad, right? Yeah, Edvin Helen, you know that Woody could go for miles and miles and miles. Oh yeah. Don't forget, folks, uh, anyone who's watching will get 10% off at a1200.net. a1200.net. Oh, we're going to do well, You know what? As soon as the news section is over, we'll do a little raffle. We'll raffle off uh, a mug from a1200.net, and we'll raffle off uh, a mouse mat. So stay tuned for the raffle, folks. You rock monsterjoysticks.com. Boom. So this is it. Roadcraft. I dig it. Boom. Boom. Here's the link to uh, Tenebra, a link to the Indie Retro News article on Tenebra. Copy, paste, boom. And let's head over to MonsterJoysticks.com real quick. So you don't, you know, you don't have to be jealous of my Monster Woody. You can get your own. Estimation Market Joystick in the chat. We'll get you over here to MonsterJoysticks.com. Boom. All-in-one joysticks, arcade parts, retro gaming joysticks. Boom. I love the adapter too. Like, let's pretend you're using your Mister or your um, or your Raspberry Pi. You can use your Monster joystick or you know or your classic joystick with uh, the emulated device, which is awesome. It's Mister compatible. I love it. Raspberry Pi joystick kits. You know, it'll come. Uh, the joystick will come with a Pi inside of it. I love it. There's a CD32 style Monster joystick as well. So many great options. Let's see what we got here. Let's check out the Monster products. Retro gaming joysticks. Boom. This is the pre-assemble right here, like I have. 8 and 16-bit retro joysticks. That's what I got. CD32 style joystick. Mega Drive Genesis retro joystick. Neo Geo joystick. PC Engine retro joystick. Boom. There we go. The deluxe kit. Super deluxe joysticks. Boom. I got a super deluxe. Boom. Look at that, I love the, the copper. The copper parts are so pretty. This this is a treasure, folks. This right here is an absolute treasure. Oh, really? Mr. Wolverine DK says Death Rally is freeware? Really? Interesting, Mr. Wolverine DK. That is just awesome. Oh, Torque Live won the A1200.net cup. Uh, and he just got it a few days ago, and he loves it. That is just awesome. Zendar, we are comparing Monster Woodies now. You know, Texas Foosball and I got to get together in person again, and we can... Uh, we can, uh, you know, compare woodies. <laughs> you know what I need? I need a beer. So everyone, head over to monsterjoysticks.com and uh, support this awesome dude. Like I said, Ian's not just like a, he doesn't just make great joysticks. He's also a great person who supports so many different people in the retro community. So, you know, when you buy a monster joystick, you're investing in the retro community. I, I, I doubt he makes much money on these things. He's so generous, you know. I, I, so that's why I highly recommend you go buy a monster joystick. Ash said hi. What is up, Ash? It is so great to see you, Ash. Ash, thank you so much for, you know, all your kind words, you know. Appreciate that very, very much, Ash. It means the world to me. Yo, Ash said hi is a top tier streamer here on Twitch, in my opinion. She should be the face of Twitch, you know what I'm saying? True story. Ash came over. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. This video is driving me nuts. Boom. We'll close this. Boom. Uh, true story. Ash came over and we did a co-stream together during the pandemic. We were opening up Ash's dad's Amiga 500 and she cut herself on the shield. When she cut herself on the shield, her blood was purple. True story. True story. Ash bleeds the purple for the Twitch. She's the queen of the stream right there. <laughs> Ash is, yeah, I know. If you want to see someone who's good at streaming, go watch one of Ash's uh, streams. She does Amiga in the morning on Saturday mornings. There you go. So look at it. See, Ash? Ash's blood is purple. I'm telling you. Most of us got red blood. Ash doesn't. She's got purple blood. True story. She is. She is. 
<laughs> you bleat Cheeto dust. What's up, Cloak Tailing? Great to see you. Alright, so there you go, folks. Monster Joy 6. Love these. And we're gonna play be playing with my monster Woody uh when we play the new games uh that we're gonna play today. We're gonna we're gonna play it Tenebra. So I'm I'm totally psyched for it. You know a protect royalty in the chat. Alright, let's see uh what else we got going on here. Oh I gotta go back to Indie Retro News. Indie Retro News. And I got some uh, non-indie retro news uh, to share with you as well. Oh, but well, right off the bat, Amiga Dweeb is in the chat. Amiga Dweeb has an announcement. Cyberpunks 2 is coming on May 5th, 2023, and it looks very good indeed. So, I mean, the thing I love about Cyberpunks 2, there's a lot to love about Cyberpunks 2. It's got some familiar characters in it. So uh, this is Tony Axness, you know, the Amiga Guru blog, one of my uh, my awesome patrons. This is Roar, you know, Roar. Oh, yo, Good Cake 1000, thank you so much for the follow. And Ash, thank you so much for the resub, Ash. I appreciate that so much. Good Cake, I, you know, I had Good Cake for breakfast. Wife Device made an awesome carrot cake, vegan carrot cake, and that was my breakfast today. It was so good. So we got Tony Axness from the Amiga Guru blog. We got Roar, and we got Amiga Cami. Those are your three heroes in Cyberpunks 2. And mission number one is you guys rescue Amiga Bill. <laughs> Mutation Software has done rather well over the years, selling a number of copies and digital downloads of their latest game, Wiz, Quest for the Magic Lantern, a previously released game that features lovely music, well-designed levels, and even smooth parallax scrolling. You can still purchase the Mutation Gold compilation, which features updated and remastered versions of Doodlebug, Cyberpunks, Tin Toy, Tommy Gun, and Castle Kingdoms for the Amiga CD32. But that same team of Mutation Software has officially announced the release date of May 5th, 2023 for Cyberpunks 2 for the AGA Amigas and CD32. Oh baby. Cyberpunks was a top-down shooter game for the Amiga developed by Mutation and published by Core Design way back in 1993, the year Amiga Bill graduated from high school. This game, however, which were once again formed through our good friend Tony via the Commodore Amiga Facebook group, is not only the sequel to Cyberpunks, but also features up to two-player fun, three protagonists, multiple levels with high-quality detail, addictive gameplay as you battle deadly enemies and big bosses, a cool intro, and plenty of kick-ass action to keep you busy throughout the day. So if this game interests you, you want to buy either the Big Box Edition or the upcoming digital download, check it out via the website below. Let's check out the video. Ooh, Nivrig. Maybe we'll buy Nivrig a birthday present. I mean, I'm in the game, Nivrig. Yo, Dotype. Thank you so much for the follow, Dotype. Welcome to the stream. If you're new to my streams, like Dotype and Good Cake. Dude, I like it. We got cake and we got dough. Dough hype. Sorry. Dough hype. Um, I love I love chocolate chip cookie dough. I love cookie dough and I love good cakes. So welcome to the stream guys You got me hungry now <laughs> um, I'm Amiga Bill and I stream Amiga stuff here every Sunday on Twitch. We call it the Sunday fun day I love to do Amiga news, which we're doing right now I love to have guests on my stream like Ash said hi like Nivrig I, You know if anyone anyone doing anything cool in the Amiga community comes on the stream We talk about what they're doing. Maybe Adrian will come on and he'll talk to us about cyberpunks, too We'll see Maybe Tony Axness will come on, talk Cyberpunks too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I know I know Richard Lowenstein will be coming on soon. I can't wait for that. Freaking reshoot Proxima 3. Oh, baby. Um, I love to play new games and classic Amiga games. My favorite part of the streams, though, is hanging out with everyone in chat. The best part about my streams is the amazing community that comes here and hangs out in the chat. So, like, you follow me. Like, that's cool. But the real reason to come here is to hang out with all the awesome people in chat. We're all, like, good friends now. Oh, dude. Oh, it's Doug Hype. But also dough hype. You love the cookie dough? I love the cookie dough. I love it. I love it. Sarah, come. Yeah, Sarah, I would love to have you on when you do an Amiga game. That would be amazing. Yo, the real Tony rocks. I will give Amiga Dad a big hug. I'm going to see him either tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll see. Oh, I got to see. I would love to see your music videos, Doug hype. That's awesome. Let's check out this video. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with Cyberpunks 2. Oh, you got a fur coat. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome, Adrian. Adrian is Amiga Dweeb in the chat.
This is crazy. I'll check it out for sure, Doug. Yo, what's up, 48k Ram? Yo, I can't wait for this game, Adrian. Thanks for shouting out 48k Ram. I love that guy. He's so cool. Loves the Atari 8 bits like me. Oh, there we go. Oh, this game looks so good. Oh, awesome 48k. Serious alien. Oh, there it is. There's, there it is. Rescue Amiga Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's a scary monster that's got me. Oh, thanks, though. That is an awesome boss fight. Look at that boss. Yeah, definitely different than Cyberpunk Swan, totally. Yo, I am gonna, I'm gonna rock this game so hard with my monster Woody. <laughs> Yo, Chris, I, I hear you, man. I can't, I cannot wait for that buy it now light to come on. Mutationsoftware.uk. I can't freaking wait. Digital and physical versions available soon. Oh, on May 5th, baby. May 5th, the 5th of May. Well, let's go back here for a second. Where was that Amiga Bill section? He did a, he, it looks just like me when I wear my Amiga t-shirt. My teal Amiga t-shirt. Look. <laughs> oh man. Yo, Adrian, you knocked that out of the park. Yo, this dude, the dude that's got me is like, he's scary. He's got some green slime. He's got green slime coming out of his eyeballs. Oh man. Oh, Cam, Cammy and Tony and Roar, I hope you rescue me. It's going to be awesome, Doug. It's going to be awesome, though. I can't wait to play this game. May 5th. May. Oh, I got to see what day of the week is May 5th. I got to see what day of the week is it. It's Liberation Day in Netherlands? No way. May 5th is a Friday. Oh, it's Cinco de Mayo. All right, so you know we'll be playing it. We'll be playing on uh, May seventh for sure. Coffee Cup Arcade wants the game because Bill is in it. You know I'm in it, Coffee Cup. Calling sick, you know it, Chris. Amiga Dweeb, Amiga Dweeb, drop the link to Mutation in the chat. It's also World War II Liberation Day in Denmark. Wow, Cinco de Mayo is a lot. Ha ha ha. You know it, you know it. AGA for the win, Fred Zeta. Great to see you, Fred Zeta. Hack the terminals to get extra features. Just like in the original Cyberpunk, you gotta hack the terminals. Friday, May 5th. And it's a two player, too. Coffee Cup says uh, he and his daughter are going to rock out on day one with this. You know it. You know it, Coffee Cup. I, I think a lot of Amigans are going to be calling in sick on the 5th of May. Mutation Software, Cyberpunks 2. It looks great, Adrian. It looks so good, dude. It looks so good. And there's Wiz. You know, I love me some Wiz. Wiz Wit, baby. Uh, uh, dude, can I try it? What do I do? do Ragin, which one should I get? Do I get the... Um, 
Do I get the big glossy box or the the physical box? Which one do I get? I want I want I want the biggest and baddest one. You know, I can't wait. Oh, if I go to um if I go to Instagram. Here he is. I see I got him in my history. Look, I mean look what he's doing here. Boom. That dude, look at that CD for the CD32. That's super super rad. Whichever is more expensive, dude. How about I just do them both? You know what I'm saying? Just do both, dude. Look at that box. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. This, and look, there's Roar and Tony. They're in the game, dude. It looks so good. Oh, got doggy. Look at that doggy. I love that doggy. Uh, boom. Dude, you got a little screenshot there. Nice one, Amiga Dweeb. Look at he's. Look at it. Oh man, he's got. Look at it. He's, he's boxing up all the games. That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work right there. With, oh look, and he, uh, it will come on a USB stick as well. That's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. I love the how the logo is on the USB stick. Adrian, it's so cool, dude. It is so cool. If you want to come on the stream, you know, if you want to come on the stream uh, on the 7th, you're welcome to. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. But if you want to, come on with uh, video or voice. Let me know, man. Let me know. Boom. Uh, it looks great, dude. We, I mean, this is a triple A quality release coming to the Amiga. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. You're too shy. No problem. I get it. I get it. Maybe Tony will come on or, you know, we'll just play it. Look at these. Got all the Cyberpunks 2 lined up. Yo, Quantic said this is how you do a proper Amiga release. You know it. You know it. You're sending me the glossy one and I'll buy one too, Adrian. You know, we'll raffle one off to support you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Thank you. Adrian is also an Amigaville VIP patron. Oh, look at that. See, see, see what you get. See what you get when you're an Amigaville VIP patron. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make some more merch for you guys too. I mean, I, I feel bad the past, you know, two months have, uh, sucked. Uh, so all, all uh, my only Amiga time has literally been on the streams, but I promise I'll get, I'll get back to you all very, very, very soon. The USB drive idea is awesome. You know, you'll send your avatar Tony and nice Amiga leave. All right. We gotta do a raffle soon. Um, I'm almost done with the Amiga News section. Let's see what else we got here. You know what we'll do? We'll finish the Amiga News. I'll crack open a brewski. Maybe watch a demo, and we'll do we'll do um, we'll do a uh, we'll raffle off uh, some stuff from a12horn.net. Love those guys, a12horn.net. You guys rule. Um, all right, then we'll close that up. So here is the Indie Retro News uh, article about Cyberpunk's too. Boom. Let's see what else Indie Retro's got for us. Boom. Cyberpunks 2, Death Rally, Tenebra. And then, yeah, we, we talked about Cry Champ Whip last week. That's going to be cool. And we talked about Box 4 last week as well. But um, this came out at Revision. Uh, no need to, you know, read it again. But, uh, Box 4 came out at um, by Retro Guru. It came out at Revision. And we're going to play that. That'll be the first game that we play today. We'll do Box 4 and Tenebra. If you forgot what Box 4 is. Here's a link to the Indie Retro News article. Boom. And I got I got some more news for you folks. Oh, oh we also also you know no, I know what we'll do. Instead of the demo, uh, we're gonna we're gonna check out um, Patrick Navian's The Piano Collection of Chris Holzbeck. It's really, really beautiful. You guys are gonna love it. Alright. Trap shot, you want the glossy box? Nice dude. See, so Triace is in the is in the chat, and Triace did the music to Box Four. You know, let's just I'll just read the article again. Um, so, in New Retro News, was a big fan of Lemming A's platformer Box Two and Box Three, especially with the bold and colorful detail by Kyoto Twelve Twenty Two. Both these games were developed using Backbone and required you, the player to collect as many coins as possible while avoiding deadly traps, killing bad bosses, and aiming to reach the exit to complete the level. Well, why are we mentioning this game again? Well, it's because for box fans, it's a little bit different. Lemming 880, aka Retro Guru, has not only announced the release of the sequel of Box 4, which has been developed using Erock's amazing Scorpion engine, but the game was shown off at Revision 2023 release party and features a far higher level of detail compared to any of the previous box games thanks to Kyoto 12 2022. 
So if you love platformers and want to play something fresh on your Commodore Amiga, give Box 4 a try today. It runs on AGA Amigas and OCS ECS Amigas. We're going to play that in a little while. Trap Shot, you love the first Cyberpunk's game. It's so good. And Trice would like to remind you that F yeah, they won. Where's, uh, let's go over here to Poet. We'll go to Revision 2023. Let's see where they won. A huge congrats, Trice. That's an awesome, that's an awesome accomplishment, dude. Huge congrats. Uh, they won, they won in the game dev competition. Box 4 by Retro Guru. Lemming88 did the code. Vetter did the, did music, you know, just like Scourge the Underkind. Trice did music, just like Scourge the Underkind. Kajote gave some support, and Muli gave some support as well. I can't wait to play the game, guys. It's so awesome. Um, let me go back here for a second. I need to look at some private information on the screen. Marks, are you still here, Marks? Uh, so Marks is uh, a really great friend of mine. I met him at Ami Party. He is, he lives in Poland, uh, in the same city where my wife and her family are from. And he's got, he did something really, really cool. I just need to pull up my other, yeah, there he is, there he is. I need to pull up my other Facebook account here. I think he sent it over to, uh, the real Bill. <laughs> wow, we're all real. Where's Marks? Where are you, Marks? There he is. Oh, what's that? Okay, so Mark's, uh, he makes a magazine. Hey, hey, hey. D can I download this? Boom. Boom. Wait, Mark's, how did I do this before? Boom, open with, no, wait, download, there we go. Boom, download. Boom. I, don't worry, I know Mark's not sending me a virus, so cool your jets. Um, we're gonna put it on the desktop, folks. Boom. Uh, Amiga Friendship, issue number three. Yeah, let's open that sucker up. Boom, Amiga Friendship 3, boom. I just want to close this link right here. Boom. Close that, no, no, no C, no looky looky, boom. Okay, so uh, Marks is one of the creators of Amiga Friendship magazine. It's super, super rad. Uh, it's made in Poland, in Polish, so I uh, can't, can't really uh, read it to you, but that's okay. Can I full screen this sucker? There we go. Uh, let's zoom out. Dude, I freaking, Adobe is so annoying. I look at that. That's a great picture of the A500 Mini. I love that. So this is Amiga Friendship Magazine. Uh, this is issue number three. And uh, we got Pi Storm 32 article. Um, do you like uh, something about, you know, do you like the A500 Mini? Um, Amiga and SCOM. Uh, Amiga 37 event. I know uh, Quahas uh, was there. Uh, the, 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 Ami Party 29, May 26th to 28th. Oh, baby. Ami part. Oh man, I want to come back to Poland so bad, Marks. Look at this is a well-designed magazine right here, Marks. A little, a little story about SCOM. Oh, dude, we were just talking about the A4000T last night. I was with my buddy Anthony, you know Anthony Becker from Guru Meditation, and our other friend Rob. He had an Amiga 4000T in his office, and we think it got scrapped. It's really, really tragic. The Medusa scan doubler. I never used the Medusa. That looks cool, Marks. Marks, I, the magazine is awesome. Oh, uh, so Marks, what does that say? Um, what's the question? The La Cogo Consola, the uh, so that's console. They do you like the uh, made? Do you like? I don't know. I you know what? To be honest, the A five hundred mini has uh, the A five hundred mini is grown on me. I like it. I like it. I I might have to call up Wipe Device for a translation. The Romulator for the Amiga 600, very, very cool. This is a really, this is an awesome magazine, Marks. Marks, can you drop a link into the chat? Like if folks want to, uh, I know there are a lot of Polish uh, viewers watching. So if you want to drop a link to your uh, magazine in the chat, go for it. Oh, John, are you all right? Fourth of all, great, great things come from uh, Poland, exactly. Yeah, Marks just dropped a link to where you can uh, get the magazine, folks. Yeah, I got a ringer. I got I got wife device. She can translate this for me. Oh, and there's always Google too. Pi Storm 32 Lite, nice. 
Nice, we're still scrolling here, folks. Still scrolling. And look at that. Yo, Marks, you rock, brother. There it is. Um, the Amiga 37. Uh, there's the Amiga Bill community meetup. That was what that was. I mean, that was a highlight of uh, going to Germany for me. The Amiga Bill community meetup was so rad. As some of the folks who are watching right now are in this photo. There's the real Tony Rocks and Amiga Sons and Captain John. I see you all there. Mac is there. Sigurborn, Mike Borman. I see you all there. Comatron trying to hide back there. Quahus, my man. <laughs> Wait, Trice, were you there? Trice, I saw you right before we had the community meetup. That was super, super fun. So yeah, awesome, awesome show report here, Marks. You, you got some really, really, there's the Bifrost. Oh, that's a cool sticker for the Bifrost. I love that. Nice, Marks. And there's me and Quahas. Me and Quahas partying at the after party out to dinner. I hope all is going well at Verge World, Quahas. I gotta wear my Verge World uh, shirt again. Boom, boom. Oh, nice. We got a little demo scene action going on there with Alchemy. Very cool. Super rad stuff. Marks, congrats on your magazine. Oh, Archie Tech. You know, Archie Tech, I did a video with Archie Tech over on Guru Meditation. Wait, does Archie Tech, is he the one that makes the Pi Storm 32 light? I didn't realize it was Archie Tech. Oh, man. What an awesome dude. Try it. It was great meeting you, too. D Mackie, I gotta do a better. I didn't really do much of an Amiga 37 video. I did a nice stream. That's about it. There's Macca the, suge the suggester. There he is. Where's my man? Where'd my man Macca go? That's a great photo. Forever, forever in our. In, uh, I'll never forget that one. Boom. There's Macca the, Su Macca the suggester. Where's he? Zoom in on. Boom. Boom. There he is. Boom. Oh, look, Macca's got the proper bag there. He's got the Commodore logo and the Amiga logo. I appreciate it. Try it. Yeah, let's put, hey, my, if Maya renews her vows, I'll come to Amiga 38. It's all on you, Maya. Maya, <laughs> maybe I can get the wife device to come this time, too. If Maya renews her vows, I'll come to Amiga 38. <laughs> oh, man. Proton Fig, wait, Proton Fig, are you in there, too? You want me to zoom in more? Zoom in a little more. Boom, there we go. Oh crap, I just totally blew it. There we go. There we go. It was really, really awesome. All right, I'm really thirsty. Neighbor, you're considering going to Amiga 3. I'm telling you, if Maya renews the vows, Maya renews the vows, I'll be going. <gasps> oh man. All right, let's see. So we, uh, I got uh, two more pieces of Amiga news real quick. Um, we gotta check in with our friend uh, David John Pleasance again. I, let me just go over here because I got some private information coming on the screen. John, you're not gonna make it. Yo, John, uh, Terrible Fire is going to visit me in like a couple weeks. I can't wait. Never, uh, never. Worst case scenario, never. I am definitely gonna go to Amiga Ireland one day for sure, for sure. Fourth of all, you'll be at Amiga 38 too. Nice, dude. All right, let me go see what David's up to. Uh, David sent me a message. Normally, I would have this all prepared for y'all, but. Uh, Things have been a little bit crazy. Boom. Maybe I'll definitely come to Amiga Ireland. Boom. Tech Girl, Tech Girl's uh, mom is sick too, man. Sending out massive healing vibes to Tech Girl's mom. Amiga Dad and Tech Girl, Tech Girl's mom, man. They're gonna fight the good fight and they're gonna they're gonna bounce back. You watch. Mark my words. All right, where's David? David, where are ya? Yeah. I, I need to start calling it uh, Pleasantsville. I can't wait. I can't wait to go to Amiga Ireland. Okay, so check it out. Um, so David John Pleasants is going to be launching a Kickstarter for AGA, which is his uh, Amiga Global Alliance. But he's delaying. He's delaying the launch of the Amiga Global Alliance until he fulfills his uh his book deal so he wanted to say um he's got a large number of folks who are waiting to receive their vulture of the vampires volume two he wants everyone to know he's finally placed the order and the books should be delivered in bulk by the end of june or early july but within a few days he's going to deliver the ebook version of vulture of the vampires volume two so far uh everyone's been really nice told me not to worry about the delay uh, but I, I'm trying because I was very sick but I'm trying to get it out in a, in a timely manner the other thing to mention 
is when the Kickstarter goes live, the Kickstarter for the Amiga Global and Alliance, he's offering some prizes. He's offering, he wants to do a raffle on my stream. This time it's going to be the latest version of the Mini Mig inside a crystal case. That's going to be huge, folks. So you're going to come to my stream. David's going to be on the stream with me. You know, David John Pleasance, uh, former managing director of Commodore UK. And he's going to raffle off a mini mig inside a crystal case. That is awesome. And he said he'll join the stream and we'll hang out. That's super rad, folks. So that's going to be happening end of June, beginning of July. David John Pleasance. He sent me a couple of pictures, too. Let's check out the pictures, boom. Uh, boom. There is Vultures to Vampires, Volume 2. Spring sale is on exclusively for USA residents. I've shipped a few of these two titles in bulk to Miami, which is where our family, and now he's able to offer us the opportunity here in the USA not only to buy his books at a super discounted rate, but also with free shipping. Come or the Inside Story and From Vultures to Vampire Buyers Volume 1. And uh, Volume 2, like I said, is coming end of June, beginning of July in hardcover. And it's coming out in a couple of days in the digital form. So that's super, super rad. And what do you got? Uh, but he's got another picture here he sent me. Ha! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. But uh, apparently, I'm a proud founding member of AGA, which is super, super rad. Um, what I, and here's what I said about David. Uh, I said, David John Pleasance is a great leader and visionary. From marketing strategies like the Batman Pack to keeping Commodore UK going, even after Commodore International closed, David has made wise and successful choices. I can't wait to see the great projects that come from AGA. There's so much talent in the media community. YouTuber, Twitch streamer, and founder of the Westchester Amiga user group. I'll have David, I'll have David fix that. That's awesome. Thank you. That's very, very nice, David. Thank you. We'll head over, we'll head over to Pleasantsville. <laughs> oh, baby. David, David John Pleasants checking in from Pleasantsville, USA. 3D Code Warrior gifting a sub to D Mackey 828 3D Code Warrior. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yo, 3D Code Warrior, thank you for gifting a sub to Proton Fig. We're gonna listen to Proton Fig's music in a minute, and we're gonna listen to Patrick Navian's music. Patrick, I don't know if Patrick's in the chat or not. I don't know what it, what his um, handle is. Hot off the presses, Amiga Addict Magazine, mastering the art of Amiga in the new issue of Amiga Addict. Whoa. Hot off the presses. Yeah, you know, listen. You know, I got, I, I literally keep my Amiga Addict magazines, you know, right here next to me at all times. Here we got the Sensible Software issue, issue 19. We got issue 17, the Christmas issue. Boom, we got the new tech issue, all, all right here, dude. Issue number 18. As awesome as issues 17, 18, 19, and 20 are, they'll never beat issue one. <laughs> it's all downhill from issue one. I'm just joking, Pixels. Yo, Amiga Dweeb, you're welcome. I can't wait, um, I can't, I can't wait to, uh, to play Cyberpunk Stew. Everyone go to mutationsoftware.uk. Keep checking in May 5th, 2023, Cyberpunk Stew. Nibloid, thank you so much for following Nibloid. I appreciate that. Chest X Barry PL. My82, my82 says I'm coming to Amiga 38. Thank you for the resub, Maya82. I, Maya, you got to, um, Maya's gonna renew her vows. Maya's gonna get married every year. <laughs> this way I can come to Amiga 38, 39, and 40, you know? The, the Maya, the pro bride. Um, let's check out, so here, so that hot off the press, Mastering the Art of Amiga and the newest issue of Amiga Attic. Uh, in this issue, boom. We all know the Amiga is the computer with the creative edge, and nowhere is made clearer than when pop artist Andy Warhol got his hands on the very first Amiga and created some of the first professional pieces on the system. David Crooks does a deep dive into how Warhol came to use the system and some of his art got rediscovered more recently. We even have an interview with Amiga World Magazine's Guy Wright about his interview with Warhol back in the day. Yo, this is going to be an awesome issue. Also in the in the issue, we talk with one of the original Amiga designers, Ron Nicholson, about the process of putting together the first Amiga. James takes a look at Maria Reynard's revenge. I love Maria Reynard's revenge. Ian and Paul report back from their visits from use, recent uh, user group events. Amiga Bill gives us the latest on the Bifrost Hemidal edition. Boom, got it right there. Making your Amiga positively glow. Paul chats with Dave Upchurch of the One Amiga. 
Alan looks at what AGA games are worth your time. Jonah looks at digital magazine preservation. All your regulars and much, much more. Yo, that is a hot issue right there. Oh, baby. Smash 1980 catches up on Amiga Addict while working away. Never leave home without my Amiga Addict. That's a proper Andy Warhol issue right there, folks. I love it. I'm going to drop this link into the chat. If you don't already subscribe to Amiga Act Magazine, you got to do it. Exclamation mark magazine in the chat. We'll take you to AmigaAddict.com. I wonder if I can see my, my article. I made I, I did a cool article about the Bifrost. I wonder if I can see it. Oh, let me go over here. I think let's see. I think Pixels may have sent me a preview. Boom! If I go over here, oh look, there's Proton Fig. Proton, I'll, I'll look down the other stuff in a second. Um, where's where's Pixels? Where are you, Pixels? There he is. I think maybe I'm allowed to show it now. Where there? Boom! There it is. Okay, here we go. Here's the article. Uh huh. It's a good looking article, folks. It is a good looking article. A guide to the Bifrost Hemidal edition. Calling down the power of the Norse gods to make your Amiga cool by Amiga Bill. Words and photos by Amiga Bill. It's, it's a really good. I am a Doe Hype. I'm a cinematographer, but uh, I do stills as well. Uh, Doe Hop. Doe Hype. I am. Doe Hype. I am so hyped that you're hyped. I am so, dude, Doe Hype is a new viewer, and I am hyped that Doe Hype is hyped. Doe Hype, I'm a little bit more tired than usual. Um, it's been a long, stressful week for me, but it's all coming together here on the Sunday Fun Day. Doe Hype is pumped. Do, wait, Doe Hype, you, uh, you, wait, you sent me a link before. Sorry, I didn't, I, I missed that. Anna Mortal loves his Emmerdale. Solus only exists because of it. Exactly, this was the precursor to, um, to the, the, to the Solus, which you can see rocking out right there. Boom. Dude, Mr. Great, lots of hype. Boom. I think that's about it for the Amiga News, folks. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. That's why I usually write all this news down before the streams. But like I said, it's, it's been it's been rough. Can we zoom in? Boom. Can we zoom in here? Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Boom. So, some nice... Uh, dude, uh, uh, yo, Pixels, who, who designed the article, though? Who designed the layout? They did a really great job. Seriously, it's, it's a really well laid out uh, article. I love how you put this image back there. This, so folks, if you do get a Bifrost Hemi Dial Edition, you're gonna wanna keep your Amiga Act handy because this right here, right, this is the key to the Bifrost because you'll never remember all these keystrokes. You can program the Bifrost to do all kinds of cool stuff. I'm almost done with my video about it. <laughs> and um, you don't need software to program the Bifrost. It's all done by pushing different combinations of these uh, LEDs. And this is the key up here, right here. Operating node configuration mode is, is the most important part. Yo, Captain is on the bridge with Amiga Sons. My man, Captain John Archer and Amiga Sons, how's it going? Captain, am I allowed to show the video? Amiga Sun, Amiga Sun sent me an awesome video. I sent the Amiga Sons, both of them, some nice Christmas gifts. And uh, they took them to heart. You gotta see what they did. Porthal, no, okay, so Porthal, great question. Porthal's asking if there's any soldering required. So just to use the basic Bifrost, there's no soldering required. If you want to have the Bi the Bifrost can also, can like, um, it can indicate PC MCIA activity. And if you want to do that, then you'll have to solder. But if you don't care about the PC MCIA activity, you don't have to solder. I didn't solder. I was like, it would be really cool to have PC MCIA activity on there. But I'm not gonna solder. So I just have, you know, standard floppy disk activity and, and, um, and power and hard disk activity. Yeah, right, D-Mackie? Totally. I'm so happy, I'm so happy Captain John is here. Greetings from little Amiga Sun who's already in bed. Oh, good. Good, good, it, you know, it's important to get good rest. All right, I need to, folks, I need to get a Red Bull and a, and a, and a beer. Yo, Terrible Fire, Mr. Bifrost is such a nice guy too. I give him a big shout out. Look, boom, You're, that is 100% right. Mr. Bifrost is a super nice guy. He donated five Bifrost to my streams, by the way. So when my video drops, I'm going to raffle off the Bifrost too. I, I just, I didn't raffle them off yet because I used them. I used them for all the photos. 
Um, but I said, lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to Fuzzy, whose real name is Connie Larson, for being such an awesome supporter of the media community. If you're interested in a buy for us, I strongly suggest you pick one up and support this awesome gentleman. I, I think maybe my, my words got a little truncated, but basically, he gave me five buy for us, and I'm like, dude, please let me buy one from you, at least one or multiple ones. He's like, no, dude, I don't care about the money. I just care about getting cool stuff into the hands of the media community. I mean, he's just a great guy. Connie Larson rules. I love that guy. Really, really good guy, man. So, Terrible Fire, you're totally right. Oh, um, Boozer Big says, uh, Carlos has updated the AB3D2 nicely, along with the ongoing engine optimization update. The two are a nice update. 11 FPS full screen. Ooh, nice one, dude. Edvin, I need a beer. Terrible Fire completely agrees. Buy a buy Frost. Buy a Frost, baby. I need to, to like, crack open a Frosty one right now. Captain John says, okay to show it. Okay. This, this this is a really quick video, folks. Um, I just want to show you how awesome Amiga Sun is. Check this out. Boom. Where is he? There's Captain. Here's the video. Uh huh. We'll go here. Oh, I, I need to sign in. I need to sign in to watch the video. What? Oh no. Oh no. Can I just play it like this. Yeah, I know. Oh, Captain, I'm sorry. I, I need to sign into my mic. Oh, wait, wait. Can I sign in? I'm in. I'm in. Okay, good. Now, oh, man. No. I, it says I need to get more store. Let's stop. Go away. All right. All right, we got it. We got it, folks. We're good. Hold on. So, check it out. This is a video that Amiga Sun made in Blender. And it's awesome. Bosco Bug, it was a mod file I was playing. Check this out, folks. This is from Amiga Sun, who's in the chat right now. Amiga Sun throwing down the Amiga love. Hi, Bill. Thank you so much for the amazing cinematography book. I have started to read it. It's not so easy for me to read it, and I'm very slow but I'm able to understand the most. The book is very interesting for me, and again, thank you for this book. I wanted to finish this animation earlier, but it was quite elaborate because I never made such an animation in Blender. See you, and bye. Yo, Amiga-san, you got the skills, baby. Amiga-san, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hiring you soon. I'm gonna be hiring you soon, Amiga-san. That was a... That was a killer animation there. Uh, that was that was awesome. Congrats. Excellent, excellent work, young man. Excellent work. I'm glad you're enjoying the cinematography book. I got Amiga Sun, the five seeds of cinematography, one of the all-time greatest cinematography books of all time. And look, he's, in, he's on fire, baby. He is on fire. D. Mackey is awesome, right? Overall, it's so good. Uh, yeah, this is called Ghost in the Cly. It's by Hoffman. As you can tell, it's like a ghost in the machine. Uh, I'm going to grab a brewski and a Red Bull, and we're going to raffle off a mug and a mouse mat from a 12 net and then we're going to play the awesome games. Um, and, oh, yeah, and we're going to uh, we're gonna check out the piano collection from Patrick Navayan as well. Edvin, demo time? You want to you play a demo? Cinematography and retro. You know it, Doug. You know it, baby. Um... I haven't tried all the demos. I'm not sure which ones will work well. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. Which revision demos do I have here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no, I stopped the hippo player. Sorry folks, hold on. What do I have here? Boom. CF card. Today is 423. Boom. I got my demo drawer. Most of a lot of demos are ADFs. Boom. Oh, do you want to check out Sojourn 2? That might be fun. I think Electric Life Forms. Oh, or you want you want you want to check out? Let's check out Electric Life Forms by Ghost Town. I'll play Electric Life Forms by Ghost Town. I'm gonna to grab a beer and a Red Bull, and then we'll do the the raffle. Ghost in the Cly. You're welcome, Basco Bug. Ghost in the Cly by Hoffman. You're still stuck on Commodore 64. How do you upgrade to an Amiga? Doug Hype. You can just go to AmigaLive.com. That's that's like a uh, step number one. You can try out all kinds of games there. Just all you need is, uh, you know, Mac, PC, or Linux. That's a great way to start. 
Uh, you can also get Amiga Forever, which is a great way to start on the PC. Um, you can do the A500 Mini. Super cool little um, device that lets you play Amiga games and emulate Amiga. You got a lot of options. You can also do a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is rad. You can do a Mister. There's a lot of really cool options. You can use another emulator called FSUAE emulator on the on the PC. It all depends how familiar you are you know, with uh, computers in general. But I would just go to AmigaLive.com. That's where I would start. And then you want to get a little more into it, uh, Amiga Forever. Boom. And then when you get Amiga Forever, you also get the ROMs legally. So you can use all the other emulators. It's really, really cool. Sarah, the A500 Mini is really, really cool. Ami Kit is cool too. Yeah, totally. Captain John, you love our new... Oh, it's not... Captain John, it's not... It's this, I, I'm just borrowing it from Amiga Dad. He's like, you know... He's, he's like, you know, while I'm, while I'm here getting better in the hospital, you can um, wear my hat. You know, so I'm, I mean, I'm wearing it for uh, for Amiga Dad. So he gets better soon. You know what I'm saying? Um, boom. All right. So here we go. Boom. We're going to play Electric Life Forms. I haven't tried this. Let's see if it works. I'm going to play Electric Life Forms by Ghost Town, and we'll see if it works. Let's see. Oh, nice. All right, I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to grab a, a drink, and I'll be right back. Enjoy Ghost Towns. Electric Life Forms is awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in, in two, two minutes. Did the demo crash or end? Did it crash or end? It crashed? Oh no, yo, what's up, Hoff? I mean, I should I should probably play it on my uh on my five hundred, you know what I mean? Sorry about that folks. Yeah, I gotta um I should just play it on my five hundred. The terrible fire was let out, it crashed. Alright, well, you may we'll try it again later. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, uh, dude, let me pound this red ball. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a giveaway now, folks. Zendar, welcome back. We're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna play box four. Oh, we're gonna check out uh, Patrick's music as well, too. Did it how far did it get into the demo? I feel bad now. Hop, it's great to see you, buddy. Hop, oh, Hop, here's I, here's some Amiga news that I'm interested in. How's the new game coming?
speaking of Hoffman, let's put on some Hoffman. Let's add some Hoffman tracks here. I'm pretty sure I got a Hoffman directory. Yeah, do I got multiple Hoffman directories? Of course I do. I can't do miles per pattern because uh, I get a little copyright slap. It crashed as soon as DJ Hoffman came into the chat. All right, let's do it. Let's do a, a giveaway, folks. We're gonna craft go win a beer. We're gonna do a giveaway, and I'm gonna we'll play some music from Patrick uh, and Proton Fig, and uh, it's gonna be great. My phone's going nuts, sorry. You're just uh, hunting down a few last-minute bugs. Well, you know what you know where to bring them if you want. If you want to find the bugs, you can bring them to me. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I cannot wait. Yo, what's up, Hoover Phonic? How's it going? All right, folks. So let's head over to a1200.net. We're gonna we're gonna do a little raffle here. Uh, boom, we'll go with a1200.net. Boom, a1200.net, and then we're gonna check out. Uh, cool, I gotta do that, and then I gotta go over here like this, boom. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go. I just gotta go over here. Sensitive information. Uh, where's that, is that sheets? Giveaway. Boom. Giveaway. Boom. Okay, so folks, we are going to um, raffle off a mug. Amiga Thermo Active Mug from a1200.net. Let me hide that so I don't get into trouble. Boom. Okay, we're good there. We'll go to products here. Boom. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Products. I mean, a twelve hundred net website is a little slow today. Getting crushed, yo. Uh, ha. oh, I, I didn't, I didn't do the, I didn't start the, I didn't start it yet. You will be able to type mug in the chat. So let's check it out. Here it is. Um, so here we're over here at a twelve hundred dot net. A twelve hundred net creators of the awesome uh, case that you see right here. It's my CD thirty two colored. Um, a Amiga 1200 case. You got the Scourge, the Underkind bundle. We're gonna be raffling one of those off in a stream in, in a couple of weeks. I uh, also got the A500 Crystal case, which I love. My Amiga 500 is in the Crystal case. My A500 Plus is, is rad. Um, but today we're just gonna do a, a simple little raffle. But it's a it's a cool it's a cool little mug here. Check it out. It's the Thermal Active mug. So you you pour your ice cold Zhivitz beer into the mug and it changes colors. Zhivitz, by the way, has got it's got a crown. On the back, if you can see the crown, it means the Zhivitz is cold enough to drink. If you can't see the crown, it means the Zhivitz is too warm to drink. So, you know, if you can see the Amiga logo, your Zhivitz is cool enough to drink. No Amiga logo, and you better chill that Zhivitz, baby. So, a huge thanks to a1200.net for uh, donating uh, five mugs and five mouse mats to my stream. As well as that awesome black case, Scourge the Undercon bundle, Scourge the Undercon vinyl, um, A500 crystal case. They're awesome folks, man. Huge thanks to all your support, uh, A1200.net. I really appreciate it, Phil. Uh, you're awesome, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Marks, I'm drinking Jibbiots for you, baby. You know, we had the Amiga, the Polish Amiga magazine. You have to drink Polish beer. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> so um, let me go over to my Nightbot. Uh, Nightbot. I don't think it's gonna sh sh uh, log in. Boom. 
log in with the Twitch. Boom. We go there. We're going to do a giveaway. Boom. Uh, we're going to do, yeah, everyone, everyone is eligible. We're going to do a keyword. Subscribers, uh, we'll get, I don't know. I usually do three and two. You know, subscribers are three times more lucky to win and regulars are two times more lucky. I think it's cool. Uh, keyword's going to be mug. Boom. You know, mug. Zendar's in, baby. Boom. Zendar's in so far. Type mug into the chat, folks. Willie's in. Willie's in. Mug in the chat. It's not case sensitive. Mug in the chat. We're going to give away this awesome Amiga Thermo mug from A1200.net. A1200.net, thank you so much uh, you know, for all your support. You're absolutely uh, amazing. All, all, you know, if you don't win the mug and you want to buy something at a1200.net, you can also, um, you, all Amigaville viewers get 10% off during my stream, so that's cool. You know, you want to, you want to pick up your Scourge the other kind case, boom, 10% off. You know, there's, there is one trick to the mug, folks. Let's just say you win the mug, you have to pay for the shipping. That's the, that's the only catch. That's the only catch. Captain John Archer is psyched. Captain John, you rule. Oh wait, the logo appears while pouring in hot water. Oh, okay. You know, yo, Punic. Punic. I've had hot beer before. I've had hot beer and hot wine. They do hot beer and hot wine in Poland. My, <laughs> yo, the first time I went to Poland, it was in the winter time. It was like December 27th. And my father-in-law, he literally pours a jivietz. He cracks an egg. He puts the egg into the jivietz and then boils it. I was like, yo, this dude's nuts. But then I tried it and it was awesome. I I, I mean, totally. Oram, dude, hot beer with egg. That, that was my introduction to Poland. <laughs> the hot mulled wine is really, really good though. The hot beer with the egg is takes some getting used to. Pi Gravity says you drink that. Pi Gravity, it, it was, it was, it's intense. Oh, I, Proton Fig also sent me, uh, I gotta look at Proton Fig songs and Patrick songs as well. Boom, where's Proton Fig? Never, boom, Proton Fig. You know what? I, I said I told Proton Fake to send me a um, a mod, but I don't. I'm just gonna play the MP3 right now. This is Roguecraft Whip by Proton Fig. Oh, I like it, Proton Fig. I love Pro. You know, every week we got we got new music from the Fig. I love it. Good stuff, Proton Fig. This some this is some good raffle music right here. Boom. Close that. Let's go back to the raffle. Oh, 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 edit, undo. Okay, got it. Close that sucker. Boom. Leave. Boom. Close that. Boom. Boom. Yep, Punic. Yep, Polish mold. Beer with egg. It, it's crazy. It's it's crazy, but it's good. Yo, yeah, Doug. This is Proton Fig who's in the chat. He makes uh, awesome music with his Commodore 64. He rules. You like a little bit of Alien Breed 3D styleness? All right, how many folks we got in the giveaway here? 42 uh, users are eligible for the mug. I'll give it another minute and we'll raffle off the mug. And then I'll, we'll play a little Patrick's music and then we'll raffle off the mouse mat. And I, I want to play some games with my Monster Woody too. I can't wait.
you know what I want to do? I, I want to find where we can buy Patrick's music because it's so good. Where is? Let's see. Can I do uh, Chris Hall's back the piano collection? Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Okay, good. I'll tell you what, as soon as as soon as Proton Pig song is over is when I'll roll I'll roll the giveaway. Fifty-five seconds left. Mug in the chat. Terrible Fire and I are going to be cracking open brewskis, some brewskis IRL in about two weeks. So if, if Terrible Fire comes, man, we got to stream together, mate. That'd be fun. I do have a family uh, event that Sunday, but I think I'll just start to stream a little bit later, Terrible Fire. That's two weeks from now. I should have hit that Red Bull earlier. Yo, Hazar Pate, thank you for gifting a sub to Fowando. Thank you very, very much, Hazar Pate. I really appreciate it. Nice, terrible fire. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm about to roll it in five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. And the winner of the mug is ProTech. ProTech. Congratulations, you have won the mug. I am going to send you a whisper right now. Copy. Boom. I'm going to send you uh, a, a whisper and uh, with a code where you can go download the mug. Congrats, Protech. I appreciate that very, very much. Yo, what's up, Orange? Yo, I'll get Orange dancing like a crazy man over there. I love it. Congrats, Protech. Appreciate it. Appreciate all your support. Chucky Gang, where can you download the mug? <laughs> At 81200.net. All right, boom, ProTech. Let me go over to my Twitch here. Boom, there's my Twitch. And wow, there's some interesting streams on Twitch. All right, I'm going to go over here to my Whispers. I'm going to search for ProTech. ProTech, there he is. ProTech, boom. Where's, uh, where, hey, ProTech, where are you? ProTech. Oh, there's two ProTechs? There's Protech. All right, boom. And then I hope I sent it to the right one. I do need to do this. Wait, Protech. I'm just gonna send you. The, I'm gonna send you it right now. Boom. We go there. Boom. I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm safe over there. I'm going to my my giveaways. Boom. I'm gonna get you your code. Uh, and we're gonna give you the code for the thermal active mug. Copy that sucker. We're getting out of here now. We're out of here now. Leave. Okay, cool. We're good. I'm gonna go back over to Protech. Congrats, dude. All right, Protech, I just sent you. Uh, I just sent you um, a code where you can go to. Uh, you can go to a1200.net, and you can use that code, and you, the mug will be free. Where's the monster Woody? You didn't see the monster Woody yet? Oh man, hold on. Super Tech Boy, look at this. Look at this beast. Look at that beast. I'm gonna play box four with it in uh, in a couple minutes here. Look how awesome that is. Enjoy your mug, ProTech, and and huge thank you to uh, a1200.net. I'll do another giveaway very very soon, folks. Well, we're gonna give away the mouse mat. Oh yeah, dude, uh, Chris, those are genuine Sanwa arcade parts. Super Tech Boy, oh Super Tech Boy, yes, we played Turbo Tomato with it. That was the first game I played with it. Was Tur Turbo Tomato. All right, folks, so check this out. Um. I'm a super, super lucky and super, super thankful. Patrick Navayan, he sent me the Chris Halsbeck Piano Collection. Check this out. It's a, it's a CD and a USB stick. So Patrick is, is a great uh, pianist. And he sent me, uh, he did all like piano versions of classic Chris Halsbeck songs. And yeah, one of my favorite streams of all time was the Chris Halsbeck stream. Did a great interview with him. Uh, you can catch the replay of that stream over on my YouTube channel. 
uh, exclamation mark guru in the chat will take you to the guru meditation YouTube channel uh, we got a really cool CD here from Patrick uh, he also sent a USB stick check this out folks boom this is really beautiful look at this the Chris Halsbeck piano collection USB stick how cool is that and it's got a bunch of mp3s on there super cool huge thank you to Patrick for this amazing gift oh yeah I'll, I'll move it Quantix don't worry uh, I mean a1200.net don't worry don't worry boom okay boom so uh, let's play it I'll, I'll put the beer on the floor Amiga Fish, this is not available to buy yet. This is the uh, Solus board. It'll be available later this year. However, this is available to buy. This is the Bifrost Hemidal edition, and you can read about it in the latest issue of Amiga Addict Magazine. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Yo. Yo, yeah, cheers, Zybok. Cheers, everyone. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching today. We're, there's a lot of stream left. Um, you know, these Sunday fun days are really the best. I only do these streams, to be honest, I do them because I love coming here and hanging out with all of you. I consider you all friends. Like, I know so many of you, like, in real life now. I know a lot of you from, you know, being in the chat. And I, these streams, they really are, like, the best. They're the absolute best. I love coming here and hanging out with my friends. You all are, like, amazing friends of mine. I appreciate you all so much. Look at all this amazing support, you know, I get. I'm so lucky and so thankful. I appreciate all of you uh, who come here and give me your time. You know, I appreciate all the patrons, all the subscribers. But most importantly, anyone who just comes here and has fun. That's what this stream is all about. I want people to come here. Life can be tough. Life can be tough. I want you to come here, hang out, and have a great time. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. So cheers, Prost, Skull, Nostrovier, still a lot. Amiga forever, baby. Let's go. Zybok, this is Jivietz. Yo, geeks versus geeks. Lurk away, baby. Lurk away. You know what I'm saying? Lurk away. All right, let's close this. Let's check out the piano collection now. All right, let's go here. I go to this PC. I think I got it over here, Pim. I'm going to go to April 23rd because that's today's date. 2023, boom. Piano, piano collection. Cool. Hop, hop. I'm, dig I'm digging I'm digging your tunes, but I'm going to... Let's check this out. So, um, let's play... Let's, let's play... What do you want to play? Tur I love Apidia. Let's, see, let's play some Apidia. With lurkers of the world unite. This is the Meadow's Edge from Apidia. This is Patrick Navayan playing the piano, Chris Holzbeck's music. The piano collection, music by Chris Holzbeck, arranged and performed by Patrick Navayan. Oh, oh, dude, I hate Adobe. Real video game icons from Germany. There's only a few, if any. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of it, but this is a really nice intro by Hans Ipsch, uh, Ip, Ip Ish, a German game dev and gaming media pioneer, professor at Link Campus University in Rome, and former member of the Association of Magazine Publishers in Bavaria. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, these songs are really beautiful. What's the 10% code for a1200.net? I'll find it in a second, DMACI. Yo, Nostrovia marks. Nostrovia. Boom. Uh, okay. I, I don't, you know, uh, Maya, Captain John, Maya, Sep, I need your help. I, I don't know what it says. I could use my Google Translate, but I'm sure it says something awesome. He's got a Turkin shirt on, so that's cool. Yo, a1200.net, thanks for dropping the 10% off. To D Mackey, A28. Cap my, cap my, I don't, Captain! Boom. There's Martin Tanzer. I got you, but this is a ni nice liner notes here. Oh, this one's in English. Cool. It's beautiful music. Oh, wait, that's the Tiny Thor developer? He's developed. Oh man, I didn't know that. I love Tiny Thor. I can't wait for that game to come out.
This is beautiful music. Awesome liner. There's Chris. I wonder if that's Patrick. I imagine it's Jan. I imagine it's Jan. Oh, it's so beautiful. Great job, Patrick. Boom. So we go here, and I think we have it here from Chris. This is what we're listening to right now. Chris Hall's Back to Piano Collection by Patrick Navayan. This is volume two. It's really, really beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. I'll drop a link into the chat right now. Copy. Paste. It's really beautiful music. Wow, so the USB stick with white piano lacquer finish, there's only 77 of them available. I'm super, super honored to have that. Apidia, Trice. It should be Apidia. There's 777 copies of the CD, 77 pieces of the USB stick, and uh, 27 TPC2 certificates. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm honored. Man, I'm really honored. Thank you, Patrick Navayan, for this. Dude, what do you guys want to hear? The Great Gianna Sisters? I know Maya wants to hear it. X out? I'll, I'll do I'll do X out next. Yo, what's up, Boing Balls? Yo, this music is beautiful. Patrick, Patrick has got great skills. I don't know if you're watching, Patrick, but thank you so much. I am honored, honored to have this collection and super honored to have this USB stick. I'm going to keep it right on my desk. All the songs you're listening to are directly off the USB stick. Beautiful. I know Maya likes Gianna Sisters. I think Maya's probably Maya's probably watching a movie right now with uh, with her husband. There she is. No, she's not. She's <laughs> there she is. Flying balls. Thanks for asking, Amiga Dad. Dude, Amiga Dad is fighting like a champ and getting better. He's watching the stream right now from his hospital room with Amiga Mom. Freaking, he's a champion. He's an absolute champion. Mr. Wolverine DK feels like he's back in the days before so many negative things, thanks to wonderful music. Totally, dude. Yeah, was, yo, Protech. Protech. No, Protech, did you get the uh, did you get the code? Right now, dude, we got a white tablecloth. I'm wearing, dude, I'm wearing a freaking sexy tux. Sitting with the white tablecloth. Boom, we got the white tablecloth, we got the white napkins. I'm gonna pour a glass of my favorite Chianti. Woo! Oh man. Oh man, I don't even know what we're eating, but it don't matter at this point. There's a waterfall outside the window. Patrick Navayan is playing a grand piano in the dining room. Of course, it's gotta be a Steinway. You know, I'm from New York. I'm not sure, Cal64. We'll take a look. Super Mario Brothers from Cassette, number 13, 1991 in Polska. Right on, x Piel. So we got, uh, let's see what we got here. We got, um, we got Apidia, the Great Gianna Sisters Level 1. Uh, we got Meadow's Edge from Apidia. X Out, main theme. Z Out, main theme. Gym Power, title theme. Gems, credits. 
The Apprentice title theme, Turrican Victory, Turrican 2 Freedom, Grand Monster Slam title, The Tunnel B1 intro theme, Rock and Roll Level 1, Turrican Trilogy Mashup, Turrican 2 The Wall, Turrican 3 Level 1.1, uh, Madness Melody, Adventures of Quick and Silva Medley, and uh, Z Out, Amiga Meets Piano bonus track. What do you guys want to hear? Uh, oh, I think um, you want to try it, you want to hear X Out, right? Punic, now we go Steinway. Dude, I'm from New York, baby. I'm from New York. We gotta go Steinway. Captain John, you rule, baby. This is beautiful. for most and said uh, is volume one available to buy it's a good it's a good question oh very cool oh punic i'm gonna have to check out that romeo knight mod i, I don't remember it. i don't know that one off the top of my head punic that's cool oh is it is it 72 pounds for the CD and the, it's because the USB is so rare it's limited to 77 pieces the CD is uh, I'll accept your cookies Patrick um, the CD okay the CD is 20 25 euro basically not bad see that it's the USB stick that makes it really expensive it's just it's like, like a collector's edition I'm I am i am really I'm really thankful. I'm, I'm so grateful to Patrick for sending that to me. I I really I'm gonna treasure this. This is not an inexpensive stick. I, I'm gonna treasure this, Patrick. Thank you so much. Edvin, I wish there was a vinyl. I'm very very lucky. Yo, Smash 1980. Thanks for all the positive vibes to Amiga Dad. I really appreciate that. He appreciates it. He's watching right now. Uh, Smash, you rule, brother. Amiga Live. Amiga wants me to play the Adventures of Quick and Silva next. Amiga, look, yo. When an Amiga Bill VIP puts in a request, the request is granted. Uh, what's the Adventures of where is it? Quick and Silva medley. It's for Amiga Live, baby. AmigaLive.com. Amiga Fish, it is it is a, a lot of money, but um, I can tell you that Patrick is a really nice guy. He makes the Heroes of Golruth game as well, um, so you're you know you'll be supporting a, a really a really generous and good person. But the CD the CD is very reasonable. It's beautiful. Amiga Live, you are awesome, Amiga Live. Doug, I'm so hyped that Doug is hyped. Oh, the the uh, the Boston Dofer mod is the famous end track from the the Red Sector World of Commodore demo. Oh, I know. Oh, okay, I got it, Trice. Thanks, brother. Got it, Trice. That's such a classic. The World of Commodore demo is like one of the all-time great demos of all time. Mm -hmm. 
Doug, I'm so pumped. Hoover, I don't know that one. That's not, that sounds cool, Hoover. Oh, these are 24-bit waves. Oh, so the white piano lacquer USB stick will give you 24-bit uh, waves. That's cool. There's also a digital download of the piano collection over there at Chris Halsbeck's Bandcamp. Chris Halsbeck is a really great friend of mine and a huge supporter of these streams. He's one of my top patrons. Uh, I'm also a Chris Holzbeck patron myself. Chris, thank you for all your support, brother. I, I appreciate it, Chris. See, there's the Tales from Gold, Ruth, right there. Emmy works. That's, uh, that's Patrick. One more. I, I'll just play one more song. We'll do, a, we'll do a little Turrican mashup. What do you think? Turrican Trilogy mashup. And then we'll play some games. Oh, thank you, Doug Hype. Uh, Doug Hype, uh, let me drop my Instagram in the chat. My Instagram is, um... Is not really Amiga oriented, it's more filmmaking oriented, but. Oh, that's my wife's Instagram. Wait, hold on. This is my Instagram. It's be I love this music. So I know I know Amiga Dad is really into piano music. Uh, so Amiga Dad, I'm sure he's just jamming out right now in the hospital. Hopefully, dude, we gotta get Amiga Dad out of the hospital soon. So he's, he's gotta be ready for the Father's Day stream. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get Amiga Dad ready for the Father's Day stream. Yo, Protech, congrats on winning the awesome mug. That was really great. I'm gonna give away the mouse mat. I'll give away the mouse mat and I don't know. We'll wait, I'll wait until like five o'clock or so. It's only like 20 minutes. Protech, congrats on the mug. Thank you for all your support, Protech. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Protech. It's always a pleasure.
Yo, that was beautiful. Boing balls, boing balls. No, I started at the normal time today, boing balls. Um, yo, Patrick Navayan, thank you so much. I, I, I am, I feel super honored to have this uh, collection and this amazing uh, USB stick. I, I, I really appreciate it, Patrick. Thank you. It means a lot, Patrick. It really, really means a lot. You know, I was just hearing the piano. I just want to do like a, a quick, uh, a quick plug. I haven't really had time. I've been, you know, helping Amiga Dad get better right now. So I haven't had time to like even think about it. But remember, remember last year I was streaming from Reno, Nevada. Uh, I was shooting a show called Renovations with Jeremy Renner. Uh, and it came out, it came out like a week and a half ago. So I was just thinking of, we were thinking of pianos. I shot this cool scene with Jeremy playing, uh, playing the piano. We got an old Lowe's. Lowe's is like a Home Depot, kind of like a hardware store. And it was just like... It was just it's a cool low. So let me, let me just show you this clip really quick because I know a lot of folks have been following me and I was, you guys were watching last year when I was shooting this. So let me show you guys. Boom, let's go. Music has always been my first love. It's a very personal thing for me. Something that I fell into when I was younger, kept me out of trouble and becoming an adult, it still is. Anytime I get overwhelmed with personal problems or job, music is such a therapeutic outlet for me. But I didn't really um, share any music until um, even more recently in the, in the last like five years or so. And in doing so, it opened my eyes and opened my heart. It gave me a sense of belonging. Music unites people. That, to me, is exciting. Yeah, so there you go. Remember last year, I was telling you guys, like, yo, I... I, after the stream, like I went out into the desert and there were like these wild horses. That's what that was, those were the wild horses, man. <laughs> uh, it's so awesome that Jeremy's feeling better. He's such a nice guy, and I'm super, you know, thankful to have been hired to shoot his project for him. Uh, the show's doing great, and uh, yeah, man, that was that was a cool one. And I'm super thankful to all you guys who made me feel like at home when I was streaming from my hotel room. Remember, I, remember, I was like jumping on the bed and stuff. And I was like, yo, I just went out. We went, we were on, the, we went on like the Oregon Trail. And then I was like, I, there's all these wild horses and stuff. Those are the wild horses. So, yeah, if you have Disney Plus, I mean, check it out. It's a, it's a cool show that, that, uh, Jeremy did for a good cause. So it's really cool. Thanks, Coffee Cup. I appreciate it. He's doing really good. He's doing really well. Thanks. He's, he's doing great. Oh, it's the hop. Hop's back. Zybok, yeah, I, I filmed, I filmed the whole show. Well, I didn't do the indie episode, unfortunately. They went, the indie episode when we shot it it's not out yet now but uh when they shot india it was like later on in the summer and i was shooting coming soon to netflix the martha stewart documentary so i was already like i was deep deep in there with martha and i couldn't i couldn't go to india because they we they didn't shoot that until like the summer um so but i shot the first three episodes it's called mirror oh i don't know that thanks retro ralph i appreciate it Zybok, it's, it's a nice show, man, and Jeremy does a lot of, a lot of cool things uh, for a good cause, you know. He takes these buses, and he renovates them, and then donates them to charities, so... He made, like, a bus with, like, 3D printers, uh, a soccer net, a basketball hoop, and arts and crafts. He donated it to the Boys and Girls Club of Reno. He did, uh, he made this cool, like, dance bus. He took a city bus, and he cut the side off of it, made it into a dance floor, and put it in a DJ booth. And he donated it to Casa Hogar, which is... It, I, it's the foster home is the wrong word, but it's kind of like a foster home for like the kids in uh, Cabo, Mexico. So that was really, really beautiful. And he took a, a tour bus and he conver conver converted that into a recording studio. And he donated it to another charity group called Bass in Chicago. So, you know, so kids go in and, and record uh, their own music in a professional recording studio. It's really, it's really cool. It's a good show, man. It's a good show. I do, Captain John. I do.
He's a really good guy. <laughs> Edvin, maybe, maybe it doesn't come out the right way, Edvin. Um, yo, Mick. Mick Paderes. Thank you so much for the follow, Mick Paderes. I really, really appreciate it. And Jelly, yo, Jelly Be Good. Hold on a second. Jelly Be Good. Jelly Be Good, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I, Jelly Be Good, I saw you very brief. I saw Jelly Be Good in the parking lot. I saw Jelly Be Good in the parking lot of VCF East. I was getting ready to record the streamer panel with uh, Bill Hurd, Jerry Ellsworth, uh, Adrian's Digital Basement, Fran Blanche, and this other dude who was awesome. Um, and I was like trying to get my camera ready, and then I, I did the shoot, and then I got the phone call. Yeah, like, yo, Amiga Dad's gotta go back to the hospital. So I had to, I had to, I had to leave. I had to leave from VCF East uh, early. Jelly Be Good. But it was nice to see you from across the parking lot, and I'm sorry I didn't get to like spend any time with you. And I appreciate the support and the resub. Uh, and hopefully we'll get to like hang out in person when I'm not stressed out of my mind. <laughs> yo, yo, um, Sarah, thanks so much for hanging out, Sarah. <coughs> and um, thanks so much, Sarah. And I can't wait for Zeta Wing too. It looks so good. It looks so 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 good. Yeah, the mobile recording studio is awesome, Edvin. Zybok, you took a break from Disney Plus. I, you know, I haven't watched the new season of Mandalorian yet. My friend directed episode two, uh, so I can't, I can't wait to check that out. Uh, also, oh, other good news: if you're interested in filmmaking, on January, is it January? On June eighth, at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York City, the documentary that I made with Sav Rogers, who is Modern Vintage Gamer's son. Uh, also, I made it with Sav and uh, Kevin Smith is coming out. June 8th is the premiere at Tribeca Film Festival. It's called Chasing Chasing Amy, directed by Sav Rogers, produced by Kevin Smith, Sav Rogers, MVG's son. Boom! It's going to be awesome. The Mandalorian Season 3 is epic. Retro Ralph, he's fighting. You know, Retro Ralph, Amiga Dad is like the Black Knight in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You know, like, he's. he's an inspiration to fight, you know? He's like Hulk Hogan. You know like when Hulk Hogan's on the mat, and they're like, one, two, and then all of a sudden the finger comes up? That's the Amiga Dad. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hold on. I'm gonna do my impersonation of Amiga Dad. One, two, What can I say? He's fighting like a champion. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about. You've all seen Hulkamania. You've all seen WrestleMania, the OG. <laughs> One, two. No way. Never, never give up. You know, you watch WWE back in the day. Dude, I was a WWF before it went to WWE. I'm old. <laughs> But good for you. I can't wait to watch season three, man. My wife Device and I are dying to watch it. We can't wait. We're gonna play some games. You know, let's do. This has been crazy. It's been an awesome stream so far, and I can't wait to to give my Monster Woody a workout right now. Captain John and Amiga Son, hold on. I don't think you guys saw the Monster Woody. No, no, Terrible Fire. It they, it hasn't been WWF in like many many years. I think it switched over to WWE in like the late 80s, early 90s. I think. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you, brother? What you gonna do when Amiga Dad runs wild on you, brother? <laughs> um, yo, oh, you, oh, yo, Retro Ralph, you and I are born the same year. I love it. Edvin Helen, oh, it, it's all, yeah, we get a little kinky here sometimes. All right. You, yeah, take your vitamins and be a real American, Texas Foosballer. Speaking of, speaking of. <laughs> Speaking of Woody's, Texas Foosballer also has a Monster Woody. This is the new deluxe joystick from MonsterJoysticks.com. Exclamation mark joystick in the chat. And this is an absolute gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous joystick. This is a prized possession of mine. Look at this. I mean, how lucky. I am so lucky and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. I got the piano collection 
on the uh, USB stick, the piano lacquer USB stick, and I got a Monster Woody from my MonsterJoysticks.com. We're gonna play Box Four right now. Music by Triace, who's in the chat right there. IRC, it was in the um, the late the late 90s. Oh, okay, it was in the late 90s, early 2000s when uh, when they got the lawsuit from the World Wildlife Fund. Got it. You know, thank you, Hoff, for the good tunes. You know, I, dude, I was watching on Instagram. I was watching uh, Macho Man Savage clips. It was, oh, man. Macho Man, I, it was so good. Macho Man was so good. All right, so I think uh, Box is box is an ADF file. Boom. So we'll go there. We're going to go here. Yo, turn up the volume because Trice is in the chat and Trice did the music to Box. So it's going to be awesome. Dude, I can't wait. So terrible fire. When you come visit me, WWF slash WWE, their headquarters is in Stanford, Connecticut, and that's like if you fly into HPN, that's it's uh it's like five minutes from H. Well, all right, fifteen minutes from HPN. Oh, look who's here. Lemming eight eighty is in the chat. Creator of Box Four. Triace is in the chat. Musician for Box Four. Oh, I can't wait. Yo, Corbo, Corbo, it does have a big footprint, but you can get the Monster Mini, which has got a smaller footprint. So they got all different, all different kinds. <laughs> Demonetized for Bill showing off his Monster Woody so often. That's hilarious. Yo, what's up, the sheer OG? Great to see you. Every Amiga user needs a Monster Woody. I, I agree. I agree. It, it, yo, ask about it. It works with the Atari as well. Oh, and Trias did half the tracks. Exactly. I will terrible fire. I saw I saw your message. Yeah, Corbo, the Monster Mini is good. So um, Lemming eight eighty is in the chat, and uh, he's also known as Retro Guru. Here he comes. Here, look at, look at this logo. Turn it up. Look at this logo. I love it. Th this logo is so good because it also reminds me of Guru meditating. Watch, watch. Oh yeah. Yo, Lemming80, I'm a big fan of all your games. I've played all the box games on streams. I, I haven't played Box 4 yet, so here we go. I got my monster Woody here. <laughs> what do you got? What, yo, I'll tell you what. Since you're Lemming, since you and Trice are in the stream, what do you want me to do? Do the info, the credits, or the options first? Yo, take care, Proton Fig. Thank you so much for the song. And, um, and. Uh, it's awesome seeing you here as always on Sunday Fun Day, Proton Fig. Have a great stream. Amiga Fish, I'll tell Monster Joysticks uh, in a future update to make an auto fire. I, I think that's a good idea. I agree with you. Uh, that, that'd be good. Lemming80 says credits to check version. I think I just downloaded it from uh, Revision. A Retro Guru Production. Programming and Levels by Lemming880. Graphics by Kyote1222 and Dualcon. Music by Triace and Vetter. Also doing the music to Scourge the Underkind. Box Art and Testing by Molly. Yo, Box Art? I, I Dude, I, yo, I need to get this. Let me know when the box is available. I want to buy it. Master of Ceremonies is Kajote. Special thanks to Iraq for making the Scorpion engine. Rad. It's the right one? Awesome, Lemming. So Lemming880 did the programming and levels. So Retro Guru is the team of all these folks. Lemming880, Kyote 1222 Dolkan, Trice, Vetter, and I want to call him Mule, but Molly and Kyote. Trice said that the uh, the box version should be out in quarter three. Trice, let me know. I mean, I'm buying it. Can I just tell y'all that my monster Woody feels amazing? All right, collect all the coins to unlock the next checkpoint. Coins can be found in the air. Okay, so we got coins and stars. Uh, you defeat the enemies and break the blocks. Got it. So we can jump and shoot. Oh, we can shoot as well. Interesting. Okay, cool. 
Completing normal mode unlocks hard mode. Completing hard mode unlocks gun mode. And reveals the password for co-op mode. No way. That is awesome. I make a fish, man. There's so much good crit cells back out there. Oh, cool. Alright, nice. I can't wait to play. We're, we're uh, three hours into the stream and I still haven't played a game yet. <laughs> but I'm having fun, so I don't care. We're playing normal. Normal difficulty. I like it. Yeah, dude. Captain John Archer says co-op mode box four was an instant buy for me. I mean, box four is free, folks. It's free. You can go over to Poet and get it for free. But I'll tell you what. I'm definitely buying the boxed version of box. Put box in the box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put box in the box. I'm, I'm buying it. This game's rad. He's German and pronou pronounced Mola, kind of. Oh, Mola, got it. I can't wait. Maya, please, please renew the vows. I, I, I need, I need to come back to Germany. Can, can I grab onto that? Oh. Oh, okay, I, I get it. I thought maybe I could like grab onto that water. Can I grab onto that? Oh yeah, nice. Oh look at this little rascal. Can I shoot? I need to flip my switch so I can shoot. Oh, I don't have any bullets yet. All right. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I need to get a gun. All right, hold on. Let's regroup here. I need to regroup. See, I thought that waterfall was like you know the thing you could like uh. You know, it's like Bruce Lee. It looks like the thing in Bruce Lee. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee, one of my all-time favorite games, by the way, folks. Yo, Trice, the music is banging. What's this do? Can I go down there? Oh, how do I get through here? How do I get that coin? Let's see. Do I oh, I see. I got it. I all right. Now I got it. That opened that up. Got it. Okay. Now I see. I took some bad hits there. Oh, cool. There's like a springboard. That was rad. Oh man. This game is super, super cool. Triple A release right here, folks. And this came out at a party. It's unbelievable. Okay, it showed me something about the fish. I should jump on the fish and get the potion. That's the way I read that sign. It's telling me to jump on the fish and get a potion. Yeah, 3D Code Warrior, it's really cool. Boom. Got it. Alright, so I got two hearts. I guess it's two lives left. I got some more potions, some green potion. I still have a lot of coins to collect. Got it. Oh man, look at I need to go down there. Alright. Let's kill the squid. Whoops. You you gotta hit him from the top. Yo, what's up, Christo? Christo, you rock, brother. The music we're listening to now is the first level. It's by Vetter, and it's called It's Alright. Hold on. There we 
There we go. There we go. Checkpoint. Well, look at these guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, the Danish stuff is a reference to a Danish film named Zappa. Like Frank Zappa. I like it. A whole jump. Got it. Got it. Oh man, I don't know how to do this. Just... There we go. Doug, I'm telling you, Doug, you know, like I'm the dude on the camera, but for me, it's, it's just all about the people that come to the streams. It's the best community in the world, man. I'm the luckiest guy, seriously. Oh, this is rad. So you can't go right through there. You gotta use the ropes. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on camera. You know it, Doug. Oh. Oh. All right, hold on. I'm playing poorly, folks. I'm gonna, all right, let's do this. Doug, I might have to play play a demo later and just and use the dance cam. You know what I mean? I dance like a maniac when I hear good music, Amiga music. We got the tri -Ace music, we got the Hoffman music, you know. I can't control myself sometimes. I just gotta go nuts and go and head over to the dance cam, you know. <laughs> Yo, Predator, you rule, by the way. <laughs> Yo, Doug. Jeremy's a cool guy, though. I, I have a feeling... I, I appreciate that, though. Oh, jeez. Calvin Harris owns his success to Amiga. Yo, I know, right? Right? Yo, Father Dickburn, welcome back, Father. When Father Dickburn comes into the chat, we often do the sign of the cross. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amiga. There we go. Jeremy's cool, we already saved America.